to it's monday right yeah it's monday yes, yes sir, sir. Mm-hmm. i had to catch i was like wait it is monday and i'll tell you what else it's beautiful outside yes 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 not a rain cloud in sight here in la happy to announce it let me give you the full weather report sit here at the top of the show thanks everyone for watching by the way here's your 10-day forecast uh, I'm brought to you by the streamies. No, brought to you by stamps.com. Uh, thank you to stamps.com for sponsoring us today. This is your stamps.com weather report. Who we love. God, do we love them. Uh, here's your 10 day weather report from me, Ethan Klein, the weather guy, according to streamies. You just take a screenshot. I mean, what do you want from me? <laughs> Here. This is the weather in Los Angeles. I don't know how helpful that is to any of you, but oh, here it is. I mean, hey, tell me what city you you live in. I'll, I'll Google the weather there, too. Sure. And you can take a screenshot. What's the weather like in Albuquerque today? Good question. Weather in Albuquerque. New Mexico, just to be clear. As right opposed up. to where? New Mexico. Albuquerque, New Mexico, 10-day... Right we are looking like um, a little, it's interesting actually, a little chilly. I mean, today you've got a little scorcher at 81, but look over on Thursday. Oh, wow. The high is 51. What a that swing. is a wind wow. flash. You're going to want to wear wow. a coat. That's a 20 wow. degree swing. That is actually pretty incredible. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Wow. You would ne- <laughs> that's a 30 degree swing, my friend. Getting Bundle. almost down to freezing temperatures. Is that so? <laughs> that would never happen here. I mean, that is really a dramatic shift. I have to say, the people of Albuquerque, uh, Gee whiz. Get, make sure you got your winter apparel. Button Teddyfresh.com, up. lots of outerwear there. Bundle up, New Mexico. <laughs> Shout out Albuquerque. We love them. Shout out. We love them. Jacket off. A lot of, um, a lot of requests coming through for other cities uh, in the chat. What do you got? What are we feeling, guys? Uh, oh, let's see. The first you one name is Montreal. Montreal. Montreal, Canada. What's it looking All like? All right. I didn't say... I said America only. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll I saw break. Boston. I saw Boston. Uh, yeah, Boston. Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. Let's get Boston, a Boston weather. Okay, here we go. Get your get your uh, phones ready. Oh my goodness, Boston! It's raining. Wow, <gasps> it's a rainy day in Boston. <laughs> it's a rainy day out here in Boston. Stay off slides, people. Good news. Saturday, you got a stormy week coming up, but by Saturday it should be clearing up. The sun coming out. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. Take a screenshot. Thank you. Fantastic. All right, I'll do Montreal. I'm curious what the weather is in Sweden. Oh, it's that. I am curious I bet about it's that cold. too. Montreal, it's cold, it's rainy. I mean, what the hell, you guys? Oh, it's oh, wow. miserable. Uh, Snow on Saturday. I guess I'll Montreal. look in Stockholm because that's the only city I can think mm-hmm. of. Mm-hmm. Stockholm weather. Let's see. Ooh, dude, is this what winter's like oh, there? Oh my god, it's not even winter. Chilly. Fall. Uh, yes. Yeah. Just that's every the start day. Of winter. Yeah. Every fucking Every day. Every single freaking day. Wow. Oh, shit. That's nothing. That, what is that? Like freezing? It's not freezing. No. Not. Oh, that's not even freezing, dude? No, oh my no. god, that's a warm fall. Yeah. No. It's, it's lots of rain, though. Uh, here, I'll tell you in, in Celsius. It's been snowing. Here, you for see a while. that? Let me see. Oh, that's not too bad. That's, that's not too nice bad. That's, a, that's yeah. a good weather t shirt. We don't need heat. I don't know. Um, but that's a. I don't think. This is like a once in a decade type of rain in LA like a whole week of rain yeah I there's a reason that. there's a reason there's uh what's it called seasonal depre- depression in Sweden yeah you mm-hmm. really just that's a fucking problem there yeah stay inside for half the year <laughs> well guys wherever you are I hope the weather is beautiful and uh I'd love to google all your cities but uh just I'll tell you this cool trick just go to google type your city and weather and then pretty good uh technology <laughs> Guys, my throat is fucked up. I did a COVID test. I did a COVID test. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't feel sick. It's just... And it was positive. Yes, I forgot that. (laughs) I I didn't mention that. Surprise! Surprise! I strategically left the results out. But I had a good... Well, I can't say I had a good weekend, actually. Can't say that at all. We I was going to have a good weekend. On Saturday, we had this... uh, whole family day planned with the boys and we were getting i was i went to do an errand right before we left and 10 minutes out Eva calls me and goes you have to come back immediately because bruce got super injured injured Uh, yeah oh no so he so they were playing and teddy pushed him 
and like there's this sharp metal there's a table with sharp metal edges which is fucking I hate that table we finally threw it the fuck out <laughs> but he fell and slammed in it right here and uh so we, he, we went to the, we had to go to the ER and he had three you got stitch, stitches. Three oh, stitches. No. Oh, wow. oh, poor oh, Bruce. He's okay though. He's okay. Yeah, he's a <sighs> trooper. So it begins with the siblings. Oh, yeah. My sister and I used to fuck each other up all the time. Oh. We were kids. When I think about how crazy my sister and I used to fight, it's yeah. like we should have been arrested. Like it was yeah. insane. <laughs> it's scary. For the most part, they're good, but Teddy sometimes he just Yeah. Because Bruce, I mean, he doesn't speak that good yet so teddy gets frustrated sometimes when he's annoying him mm. but um what it's what what it's what that's what you said when you were drunk say it again it's that. bro what the fuck? that's what we were all saying when you were saying but there's no context i don't know what it is it wasn't you were i think speaking like bruce it's bruce it's i think you're bruce i don't know that it works though zach yeah without context it just sounds like some kind of weird grunt <laughs> play it again it's that. is it pitched this is it slow slow no. down no it's not yes really? it is no, yes it is i have my hand to go it's not play it it's that. no, no it shot. Is. Do you want to <laughs> pull up, find the timestamp to the episode? Okay. No okay. way it sounds like that. Mm -mm. Of the 12 hour episode, how long was that episode? <laughs> eight. It was like, eight it hour? was only like eight. And look up a, a fake I, word. Uh, yeah, that might be a challenge. I'm going to find it. I think you were just looking away from the mic. I think that's what happened. Like you were saying it away from the mic, and that's why it sounds all distorted. Just saying. Damn, this up's going on 2 million views, baby. Oh, that's um, really cool. That's sad. Nice. Really? Wow. Um, so, it actually was horrible. We went to the hospital. We had to go to the ER. We went to urgent care. They're like, we don't take kids. I was like, what? we don't do pediatrics here. The fuck? I was like, the fuck? Yeah, no, that's what they told us. I was like, <laughs> okay, that's cool. Good thing kids never get sick. <laughs> so then we had to go to the emergency room. And it was, we were there for like five hours at least. The worst part was they tried first to glue it shut. And so we had to hold him down, this poor kid, restrain him. And it must have been really painful because he was really fighting. They glued it fucking shut and then it didn't work. So then we had to do it again with the stitches, you know? But by the second one, but on the stitches, they, they actually gave, they give kids, um, like benzos, like a little benzo shot in the nose to calm them down. Hmm. Hmm. So they, so for the stitches, he got a little benzo shot in the nose and then he chilled out. Do you, Most, start, do you start talking about chaos dragons? A fact. Uh, no. Precisely. No? He may have mentioned something about dragons. But, um, <laughs> he's, I guess most kids fall asleep, but Bruce was like, he was fighting it, boy. He, he Party was, animal. He wouldn't go to sleep, but he was chill. They gave him a shot of uh, lidocaine, and then they did the stitches. But he was a he's a great kid. He took it like a champ. Oh, I'm glad to hear he's okay. Yeah, he's totally fine. But he's got a pretty nice little shiner there. <laughs> yeah. But he, he's such a champ. He's such a trooper. Uh, I, AB did find the... Uh... The clip here. Oh, fucking go! I don't so know. wait, how did you find it so fast? Well, you know, it's my job. You were just oh, complaining, wow. though. I just that good. I forgot we had this discussion before weeks ago, and then like Avery sent it to me weeks ago, so I went through mine and Avery's chat history, and I found it. There. Nice. All right, Zach, play yours. It's that. Remember, you are joined. Yep. You will have a full list of all the members that. from t right now. I'm that. Back. That. <laughs> What? Dude, yours is that. It's that. that sounds so totally Maybe it sounds a little muffled, but Bro, I. What are you talking about? No, it sounds like it's pitched. You did it a bunch down. of times. I, I'm okay, sure. Okay, hold on. Let me play. Let me keep playing. Oh, that right, one, that wait, that did sound like it. Hold on. Let me go back. <laughs> it's that. Now, players? It's that. It's the oh, same, yeah. bro. Same, same thing, bro. All right, all right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Does the crow taste good? I mean, it wasn't just me. Me and Love were 
Yeah, that was You confusing. guys need to fucking hear some more shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta work on your listening. Have you ever, have you ever heard something before? <laughs> All right. Mr. Sorry, Soft. Apologies. <laughs> yeah, apologies. Apologies. So, um, that was pretty crappy, but it's okay. Everyone's fine. Also, exciting news. Teddy Fresh is going to be at Complex Con. I don't know who goes to that. Oh. But we're going to have a really awesome booth slash installation there that Sam's been working on really hard and mm-hmm. the team has been working on. And it's going to look sick. It's going to be awesome. Give it up for Sam. Yeah. Woo! Give it up. Hey, who's Sam? Hi. And uh, we're going to be announcing a really awesome collaboration that we've been working on there as well. I wonder if I, I can say it. I don't think it matters. No. I mean, it's so cool. Don't. Cool. I'm not the person to ask. Yeah, talk to your wife. Um, you talk me, to the real boss. Let me call her. <laughs> yeah, Why are you worried about my wife? <laughs> I will say, he's not wrong. It's a very, very cool yeah, crossover the, that I'm pretty stoked on. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Will she answer? Careful with that phone. I don't know if it'll... Yeah, you're almost... Save that for Tuesday. Damn, I can't get my wife to answer my She's phone. She's too busy. She's a CEO. Down. Shit. I got cold I shoulder, time for this shit. Damn wife. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could say it. I mean, it's in a couple of weeks from now, but here, I'm just going to say it. Uh, it's in a couple of weeks. How bad could it be? <laughs> I don't... Think- I don't know how these she contracts have, If work, she didn't want know. me to, then she... No, it's not a contractual thing. We I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't... <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't say. I mean, ComplexCon is uh, November 18. I mean, it's like 12 days. Where's Sam? She she would know. Mm-hmm. Today, I will tell... If, listen, if she want me to say it, she should answer the phone. <laughs> this is on her. <laughs> Just saying... The big collaboration, my friends. The tie is 51. What is that? Is a, all my friends and family. Sorry, whoops. I guess I shouldn't have said that. Maybe that is too much of a hot take about Israel, Gaza. No, we, were, we weren't talking about that. Uh, here, okay, so that, uh, sorry, I, I said too much. I said too much. Let me, let me roll it back. Today, my friends, I'm here and proud and happy to announce a great collaboration that we've worked with, uh, Lot. <laughs> I see people just got the button. <laughs> I see that uh, we've worked with a lot of love, a lot of excitement, truly close and dear to our hearts, as it is, I know, all of you. It's a card game. It's a big card game. A beautiful card game. It's Magic the Gathering, the card game. Thank Sam you. said... Oh, okay. What'd she say? Don't say it? She said she was going to check. She said, give me five minutes. <laughs> Whatever. Don't tell me shit if you don't want me to say it. Period. Either has got to keep it secret for me. <laughs> but I won't show that the designs are fucking Dude. sick. I want everything. Dude. I'm it, not even messing around. Everything's so sick. <laughs> Roblox? That would be cool. Maybe a future one. Sanri- uh, Sanrio is something, you know, on the list. Yeah, but it's Magic the Gathering, and it's going to be fucking sick, dude. The art is, like, unmatched, you know. And I think the team did such an awesome job of mixing the brands into some really beautiful clothing. So, Magic the Gathering. Oh, the other cool thing is at the booth where we have, like, uh, they gave us, like, hundreds of booster packs to give away. Mm. Oh, shit. That's we, cool. Yeah. they get they, yeah, it was really cool. Um, we shouldn't have said anything. We could have just played a draft. We could have just... <laughs> just... Just sell them on eBay, bro. We could just open them all and play. 
So yeah, we have a huge giveaway of um, booster packs too. So it's pretty cool. Nice. That's pretty sick. Yes, sir. Ah. <laughs> da, 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 da. So anyway, um, one more time, guys. Dream Nightmare Remix Competition. The deadline is Wednesday. So make sure to get them in. I've seen some really good ones. I have seen some fucking awesome ones, dude. Mm -hmm. Did you see that a good chunk of the audience did not understand that, that, that they thought that whole thing was a yeah. meme? Just to be clear, he, that, that was actually a dream so, that he called in. Like, Just at, clarify. I understand at first being confused, but I talked to him for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you were on his stream. Also, street. he was on live. He was live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was live. Let's go! He's a good, he's a good sport. It was fun. He was a good sport about it. I think the sponsor idea is super funny. I I haven't hit him back just because I, I don't know. Really? I feel weird taking money from another creator. It's just I, don't know. <laughs> I do just think it's a pretty it, funny idea too. I don't know. I, don't, I just I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable taking money from him. All right, you know. Um, he could sponsor the street the steamies. Oh, That'd be there's cool. an idea brought to you by Dream. Yeah. <laughs> that, okay, that I could consider. <laughs> we do need sponsors for that event. YouTube's hottest night, people. It's the that hottest night. night of the year for YouTube. Um. Also, I'm I'm hoping to include him in the uh, the final judging contest. Mm. Mm. I don't want not the whole tournament, but like maybe on the finals, he can come in. Oh, and Be a guest judge. I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see people in the people in the chat. Wait, that was real. Yes, it was yeah, real. Yeah, no, not not trolling you. It guys. was real to me. Damn it's it! It's still real to me. Damn it! it! He was literally. If you're doubting me, go on Twitch. It's literally right there on his Twitch show. But anyway, so that's all the fun stuff happening. How was your guys's um, weekends? Anything to report? It was pretty good. Mm. It was pretty good. I uh, I guess we probably can't talk about it because people get mad about spoilers. But did you watch the? Finale of Attack on Titan. Oh, what the fuck? It came out? Yeah, it came out this weekend. Did you watch it? I haven't watched it. I Attack. did watch it. Yeah. <laughs> so did you both watch it? We, uh, Me and AB both watched it. Was yeah. it good? He liked it. I gotta tell you, I wasn't too hot on it. AB would like... I don't think AB is capable of criticizing that show. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my favorite show. I thought it was good. You're wearing a Mikasa shirt. I am. Hang I mean, on. it wasn't terrible, but... Interesting. I, I can't say anything without spoilers, so yeah, yeah. But I gotta go watch. I, that. I did that this week. Attack. So, did you love it, AB, or did you like it? No, I liked it a lot. Um, I already read the manga, so I knew how it was gonna end. But they added eight pages to the manga after they already ended it, and I was really hoping they wouldn't put that in the anime, and they they put it in the credits. And I was like, ah. Oh, you didn't know. like the ending. I, I liked the ending. I just when they added those eight pages, I wasn't really a fan of those. You didn't like the that was like the Lucas ending. the Lucas Films director cut with the uh, right, yeah. bar scene. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. I look forward to watching it. Definitely. Um. It's <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. There's all kinds of little fun stories coming out. Oh God! I also forgot to tell you guys something interesting. As you guys know. And Sons, the chocolate company, has they have been leaning into the meme so fucking hard. It's cracking me up. <laughs> but they're they're clearly getting a ton of orders, and I'm happy for them. I got to be honest. I ate all the candies, all the chocolates, and then I was like, the chocolates. I actually, I, this has never happened to me before. I says I need more of those. <laughs> He's like addicted. And so I said, I never say this. We, you know, I've never said that. I know. Literally, it's incredible. And it's so best. I was like, Sam, get a hold of him. Like, the least he could do is keep us chocolated up, like a weekly delivery. I don't ask for a lot, but damn. Uh, but they, they've been very funny and uh, really very kind and sweet. But. We were talking shit in that segment about another chocolate brand, um, Compartes. Yep. Am I saying it right? Yeah. Okay. Sam brought it in. She said, this is my favorite chocolate. It was good. It wasn't... Not on the same level. I mean, we can all agree on that, I think. So, the Compartes people were watching. <laughs> and then they reached out to... Did they reach out to you, Olivia? 
No, to Sam. So they reached out to Sam, who's here to join us right now. Mm-hmm. And they said, okay, fuck that. We want to come in and do our chocolate <laughs> shit with you guys. So they're coming in today at three <laughs> to bring their greatest spread. Let's and here, chocolate. Here we have perhaps a battle of the titans between, um, what is it? Chocolate? No, the company. Compartes, Compartes. and Amsa. It's the ch- the chocolate wars are heating up, my friends, and I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> I, I'm, you know, I'm reserving my judgment. Uh, they're bringing in their best and their finest, and apparently the person coming is their head chocolatier. So this. Wow. What? CEO. Oh, it's the CEO. <laughs> Everything. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, this is the person. Yeah. Oh, that's this is the Compartes person. Okay. Because uh, we just got one son. We didn't get them both. Right. right. The second son. This exactly. We've got the father, the son, he, the Holy he, Spirit not today even, in the studio. <laughs> we couldn't even get number one. With peace and love to my friend Jeff. <laughs> Mark. He's, he's, Mark. He's not even in line to inherit the throne. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate throne Mark. From, his, from his mom. Mark. Mark. So, I'm excited. I thought that was so funny and so cool that they reached out. Right. Dude, the live stream is bugging, dude. It goes from like 40,000 to 25,000. I saw that. It keeps jumping up and down by tens of thousands. Uh, it must be bugged. You too. What the? Okay. Because uh, we just. That or when I said I didn't like the Attack on I was Titan just gonna uh, say, finale. Uh, everyone bailed. 20,000 people bailed. <laughs> Unsub. Attack. I loved it. By the way, they, uh, the opinions expressed by the crew are not mine for the record. <laughs> So I, I just, what time is it? I mean, shit, can we fast forward to three? You just want to do the chocolates. I want the chocolates. Me too. I I don't know what happened. That Anbro shit awakened something in me that I didn't know was there. It was probably the best chocolate I've ever had. I don't, it was. Genuinely, it was like like, on another level. And for like no reason. They seem so, they seem so like chill about it. He's like, yeah, it's just Chef Sandy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Chef Sandy is a No, 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 no. Who is Chef Sandy? <laughs> and why is she magic? Yeah, yeah, let's talk. I need to know more about Chef Sandy. I agree with you, Ethan. I'm I'm not a huge chocolate head by any means. That shit, crazy. That's some everyday fucking shit. Man. Dude, it was crazy. Um, I woke up this morning and I went and I was genuinely disappointed that all the chocolates were gone. I was like, man. I gotta, Good morning. I got to get back on the chocolate game. Wait, you were gonna eat chocolate in the morning? What? That's shocking to you? I'd do that. Yeah. Fuck it. Have a bite of chocolate? What's sure. wrong with that? What do you eat in the morning? Uh, I don't know, like eggs or something. Just chocolate doesn't sound like a breakfast to me. It's not a breakfast, Zach. I didn't say chocolate was my breakfast. I feel like, I feel like I w- I'd get scolded for that. Dude, it's just <laughs> a scolded from who? <laughs> I, I don't know. You're a growing ass Family man, trauma, dude. you know. Shit. Brother, well, a sweet treat in the morning is everything. I take a little bite of chocolate in the morning. Uh, not every morning, but like... You know I, what? I'm going to start doing that. Fuck the system, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's not something I do. It was just I love those chocolates so much that um, I saw someone else get it, and they... I think there was a lot of orders, but someone f- or got it, and they said it was the best chocolate ever. I don't understand. There's something going on back there, and they're way too nonchalant about it. It's just a couple of bros and Chef Sandy. It's like, no. Do they got Shumpa Loompas back there, brother? Some, <laughs> <laughs> somebody studied this shit at like Willy Wonka's. <laughs> mm-hmm. Somebody stole Oompa Loompas and. And they got like a cafe in there too, so some some chocolate with that coffee. Oh yeah, they Whoa. have a barista. <laughs> Next level, bro. Ooh. Next level. But we'll see. You know, I don't want to glaze them up too bad because we have the Compartes folks. Mm-hmm. Coming in big time. And and let's be real. Depending on how much chocolate Compartes brings and leaves is definitely going to affect my opinion about them. Mm. Because I will say this about Jeff. Mark. Mark. (laughs) Mark. Hmm, Whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Mark. He brought in a ton of chocolates and we were all stoked. I don't know if he, I don't know if he, he may have done it on accident. He just grabbed shit and leave. So he took all the chocolates with him when he left. (laughs) He's dead to me. <laughs> I was like, dude, I wanted that shit. Why'd you bring it? And then that's like taking a. 
Are you sure he had more? Yeah. I thought he. I remember him walk. Go to go go to him walking off. He had uh -huh. a bag of chocolate in I, his hand. Mm. I saw him put everything back in the bag. I was like, bro, you're not gonna leave that. I saw him walk out. I was mm. like, Man, I maybe that. he just thought he was cleaning up his mess. He's cleaning up after himself. Hell nah, dude. He might have been on autopilot, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's like you know, you go to a party and you bring a bottle of wine, and then like half of it's left, and then you take it home. Like, I'm sorry, dude. That's just not how it works. <laughs> or the Seinfeld marble rise situation. You know? Right. Uh. So I was, you know, we'll see. Compartes, if you're watching now, stock up. Right. Because that's going to be huge. <laughs> they have, like, this cereal milk candy bar that looks so good to me. Compartes? Yeah. Oh, it's, it? like, one of, their, one of their best sellers. I wasn't crazy about their bars. Really? I'm hoping mm -hmm. that their artisan chocolates milk. are more up. That they get you? Up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't forget. They got to put it in their glove comparte, man, and bring it over, man. <laughs> glove comparte? Yeah. Blair. Hopefully they got more than that. Here is um, uh, Mark. Jeff. <laughs> Here is Jeff. Dude, okay. we got him red-handed, dude. Look at this. Okay. Here he is. Hold on. Oh shit. Hold on. Gotta unmute. Thank you guys. Here he is taking the chocolate bag too with him. How do we know Brother there's more chocolate in there? There is. There's an empty, he, that was bro, just he the bag. kept taking shit out. But how do you and know? Even who, at, right? no, Dan, and even at the end, and we could prove this in the video, mm. there was a moment where he's like, we can keep doing more. And then we're like, nah, I guess we'll wrap it up. Because yeah. I was talking to Dream. So he mm. put those chocolates back in his bag. And he left. It's true. He also had product placements like put up on the desk, put them back in the bag, and left. I'm just saying. Or you know he had more of those on. fucking six packs in there, bro. You know he, he did. Had more of That's them. not even a debate. Yeah. So I'm just saying, if you are watching Jeff, Mark, you can make it up to us by bringing a whole bunch of fucking more chocolate, <laughs> <in there>. <laughs> yeah. a pallet. <laughs> oh, bring a pallet some jelly. Of that shit. But get give sh Chef Sandy needs to get her ass to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like dream. It's true. He's a dream hater. You're not oh, wait. there. You're no not chocolate there. in the, in the um, idea realm of him. Oh, is this an, another timestamp of the evidence? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. So Mark. if you go back to before, at two seventeen. You sent me the same timestamp. No, right? no, I sent you a screenshot, but then because oh. I'm using three monitors, it sent all my monitors. So give me one sec. I don't know why I did He's that. resending it right now. Yeah. Okay. So here Bruh. we're getting video evidence of him having chocolates, putting them in the bag, and exiting the podcast with the chocolates. We actually have CCTV of him leaving with a bag, too. So it, Don't make us stalk ourselves, but I will show it here. <laughs> Hibiscus honey. Oh shit. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> it has it's jelly. jelly. <laughs> yeah, it's jelly. I'm being a little dramatic. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> so, oh, this so. is awesome. Cool. Mm. Super cool of you to come out and, and share this with us. And so, yeah, and we do, so for the holidays, we're doing new flavors, so, you know. Is that it? Is uh, that box right there? Is I, it, all, am I, all those boxes on the table, yeah. Okay, yeah. And he's yeah. got, like, mm. I think five or six new flavors for the holidays mm. that we're releasing. We're also and working with an amazing artist, so we love to partner up with, with artists. Yeah. There was a point where he brought some out and was like, we could do more. So we're working with an artist actually from oh, Ventura. That's fun. Yeah, there's this, and so, um, this one. And Pat. Um, there, there it is. Okay. I've said my piece. So, Compartes, we look to you. To the chocolate arms race. But, I, man, I'm excited. Um, Ooh, people in chat saying, what if it was just jellies? It mm. wasn't. I know, I know you all mm. want to be Mark apologists here today. I just think there's a lot of unknowns here. I agree. Before they we were not jellies. They the were bus. unopened packs. It could have been the unopened jelly palette. They don't do one palette. I even asked. I said, can I get a whole thing of fudge ones that I love? He says, mm -hmm. no. Always Right, he says you have to go into the yeah. store. Mm. I've thought custom. about this a lot. Yeah. I tried to give him any out I could you know, imagine, but I couldn't. Right. I couldn't find him a plausible excuse. <laughs> Mm. So what else we got? Um, uh, what we got 
probably is an ad. an ad for stamps.com. All right, so after the ad, I'll talk about the title, which is this girl, Brett Cooper, who is like, she's Ben Shapiro. <laughs> yeah. And when I say that, I'm not talking about her attitude, back although to the she is a, also a conservative shitbag, but she is literally Ben Shapiro. In like, drag or something. Like, this is just... Not really sure what's going on. How the fuck did they find her? Did they do a Ben Shapiro lookalike contest and just hire the girl <laughs> who looked the most like him? Like, where do you find someone that looks like Ben Shapiro? Do you see it? It's unreal. It's very, very strange. So, there it is. A nightmare. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be cr crass, but like... Mm -hmm. If they... And I, I'm sure, and Ben's happily married, so I'm not, this is just a hypothetical. <laughs> but if they coming? mingled in coitus, that would be an interesting is that, pairing. Do you hmm. think would it, it be just masturbation, basically? Would it result in inbreeding? Right. Is that what you're oh, saying? Oh, God, yeah. That would yeah. be right. Well, the child from that would just have no genetic diversity. Hmm. I don't want to see the science. <laughs> if, if the science is right, I don't, if the science is wrong, then why does it feel so right? People saying, yeah. isn't that his sister? No. No, dude. It looks just like her. <laughs> I don't no even, relation. I don't suppose, even think she's allegedly. Jewish. <gasps> she's just someone else. Yeah. Who they yeah, happen she, to hire. She looks more like him than his actual sister. Yeah, because maybe we didn't make that clear. She works for Ben Shapiro. Daily Wire. Right. So yeah. it's not just like another commentator that happens to look like him. It, and what, what and also, you doing? don't get us wrong, she's beautiful. That's she, a, I should say that. Yeah, ben she looks, looks better just as like a girl. him. Yeah. And, so, yeah. and somehow, this, is, this isn't like and me insulting her look. She, she is very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> totally. But like, objectively. Yeah, but... It's more a slight against Ben than her. Mm -hmm. Somehow, it's Ben Yassified, Queen. <laughs> he could pull hard. If is he there were. a picture of them together? Does that exist? I just dropped it. Oh. Wait, um, no, this is him and his real sister. No, sister. above that. Oh, shit. They look even more. <laughs> I see more people. She's per, super short, Brett too. isn't Ben's uh, sister. Is no. She? No. I no. have a theory, though. D they're strangers. Go ahead. <laughs> no relation, I dude. Think, I think cloning has something to do with this. Yeah. I think they were like, we need, uh, like, Shapiro's just like, how can I What's employ myself? Answer? It's like starting to get into, like, cloning. So he made a clone of himself. They says, we need another Ben Shapiro. He makes us so much money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we can't have another Ben Shapiro. So we need a female right. clone. Exactly. Yeah. And that is how Brett Cooper was born. Dude, look yes. at the one I just, I just sent, too. That one, you can really see it. Okay. Oh, my yeah. God. You guys, stop taking photos together. I don't like it. <laughs> that just ain't right. That's cloning. Ben looks kind of fucking... Uh, and just for comparison, I mean, here's yeah. Ben with his actual sister, who... She does look like him, but... Yeah, you can see that they're related, but I don't the know. If you threw the other girl in here, you would assume all three of them are related. I yeah. hate that people always say Liam. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, here's here's what happened. I thought I shouldn't say it, but I knew I could button it, so I gave it a shot. Intrusive uh, thought. I gave it a shot, and you guys did laugh. But it was so out of pocket. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> was that funny, AB, or too much? I'm sorry, I was listening back. What was oh, that? Oh, you didn't even hear it? Oh, you didn't hear it? Probably for the best. I heard it the first time. I didn't hear what you said though right <laughs> now. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Was it, a, did, was it offensive or funny? I, I, it was funny because, yeah. I mean, it's us. Obviously, I knew you weren't saying that. Yeah. It's a joke. All right, let's do an ad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then we'll talk about this. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you to our wonderful, gracious, supportive sponsor that we love. I am talking, of course, about Stamps.com. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stamps.com is helping a million plus businesses get ahead of the holiday shopping. How are they doing it? 
Well, to start, you can do have the com the convenience of the post office at your home. You sit at your house. You sign up for stamps.com. They send you a digital scale. Mm. Okay, then you take the package, you put it on the scale, it tells you the exact weight, and so you print out the exact postage, boom, you put it on. Then, this is where it's great. You can schedule a pickup, they will come to your house. You could drop it in a, at a drop-off point, mailbox, whatever. You don't have to go to the frickin' post office, dude. And But that's not even the best part, if you can believe that. I, I can't. The discounts that you get are insane. 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Jesus. What? Yeah. How does that, that make sense? big of a discount? They have a huge carrier discount because they have such a massive clientele that they're able to negotiate the prices lower. Huh. Which I didn't know was a thing before Teddy Fresh. We we had to do that too with, with UPS and uh -huh. stuff. Because if you just go send a package, just one, I mean, the, the rates are nuts. Out of control. No way to run a business. Yeah, so 84% off, up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Come on. They also automatically tell you the cheapest and fastest shipping options, so you're going you're gonna to know exactly what you're getting. You're going to know you're getting the best price, and you're not going to have to go to the freaking post office, most importantly. They're a great company. They got a great reputation, and they've been around. And I don't know if you know this, but Allie, Dan's girlfriend, loves Stamps.com. Yeah, you know about that? I was about to bring up the fact that uh, I think my girlfriend uh, uses this service and has because it's so years. convenient. It's so convenient. She can do it all from home. She well, got she a little does, printer. She sells her art. She sells her art. It all happens on the scale. Bzz, bzz, bzz. You, you put it on the thing. It goes bzz, bzz, bzz. prints out a label. You slap it on the envelope. Hand it to the mailman. Bob Boom. your uncle. Bye. I'm literally telling you how easy it is the other day. Right. Dude, before stamps.com, do you remember going to the post office? What that's like. I mean, it's just a crapshoot. Like, you never know what's going to happen. It's Hassle there. City. Am I right? Worse. Worse. Hassle Metropolis? Ha Hassle doesn't describe. Oh. Okay. It's a catastrophe city. <laughs> 25 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over a million businesses. Guys, get access to USPS. And UPS services right from your computer, day or night. No traffic, no waiting. But here's the best part, guys. We got a deal. <laughs> Give your business the gift of Stamps.com so your mailing and shipping is covered this holiday season. Sign up at Stamps.com slash H3TV for a special offer that includes a four-week trial. Plus, free postage? What? And a digital scale. No long-term commitment or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com slash H3. Thank you to Stamps.com. For supporting our show thank you thank you play it kenny it's kenny g sending postages was never so sexy I thought you were doing something else. <laughs> oh, no. No, I was doing a letter. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Calm down. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Brett. <laughs> let's talk about Bretty boy. So, yeah, um, this is not Ben Shapiro related. And then, like, how can you... It's not, it's bad enough, it's weird enough that she's a conservative commentator, but the fact that she works for the Daily Wire, why are there not more conspiracy theories about this? Why are we talking about QAnon when this shit's out there? Brett Cooper. Mm-mm. It's not right. All right, with that being said, let's take it, a, let's look at a wash here. So, it's called H3's Audience Turns On Him. And um, the biggest thrust, Turns. of course, comes from this that I hear all the time, Jordan Peterson's uh, prophetic tweet about, just you wait, Ethan, they're going to come for you next. The mob. Uh, and, and so, again, I'm not sure what canceled means anymore because, I mean, you could characterize it as people disagreeing with me and getting upset. 
But I don't know what you mean by canceled, because I'm clearly... I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't even know what that means. But let's watch. She'll explain. Go ahead, uh, Ben. Ben. Oh, here's the tweet. She shows it, so I'll just, I'll let her explain. Comment section, I'm Brett Cooper. So I think we all know by now that the more you give in to woke, cancel culture fueled politics, the higher standard they will hold you to. Because if you give them even an inch, they will take a mile. And we are currently Ooh. seeing this play out with one of the big- I love that she, they can't even identify, it's just they. It's just they, them out there, man, I'll tell you what, man. They are coming. The royal they. Biggest right. YouTubers out there, Ethan Klein, also known at- Girl, I have lost weight. I resent. <laughs> so true, bro. You look amazing. It's fucked up. Can I get some respect here in the weight loss uh, community? As H3. He went from having a comedic, raunchy YouTube channel where he didn't care about offending people. It was pretty apolitical. It was just all about him and his personality to being the leader of canceling people online. And now- That's me, baby. <laughs> the leader. Yeah. That is a nice title. Ethan Klein, leader of cancel culture. I'm the vanguard. I'm coming for all you. Don't you disagree with me, because I'm they, and they is coming. Now, he is facing the wrath of his own creation due to expressing his own feelings about the Israel-Palestine conflict, and we are going to talk about that today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that- Also, just a reminder, she usually gets like 250000 per video. She got a big old juicer out of this. Eight mm -hmm. sixty thousand. So the H three hate. You is still, still got it. it. I still got it. It's crazy. It's kind of after all these years, it's kind of amazing. Yeah. Wow. That you could still juice it like that. I mean, it's, so it's kind of a vibe, to be honest. Yeah. You know. Yo, the view count is crazy. What is going on? Is your chart just like jumping all over? Yeah. Yeah. No. It... You sent me a photo of it. Well, it doesn't. The chart actually doesn't, like, the bar graph doesn't reflect the numbers that are showing. Oh, okay. I, I, I do see, like, big dips in and out, though. I hope it's not the same problem that it yeah. was for so long. Does, do you see people saying it's crashing? I haven't seen that. Uh, earlier when we mentioned I actually did see some people say that it was glitched out for them. Mm. I just sent a picture. You see how it, like, has these dips? But it's not nearly as big as <laughs> Somebody show. said, Ethan identifies as they, them now. Interesting point. I am they. <laughs> and notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. For context, Ethan and his wife, Hila, are Jewish. I'm not sure if they are practicing, but they are- Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Whatever. Sorry. Technically Jewish. And Hila is from Israel. She did her few years- Should I button that out? What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. In the is That's- just wasn't funny. Yeah, I mean, should I button out the button out? <laughs> the yeah. discussion of the button out. Israeli army, her entire family is still there, and this heritage is incredibly important to them. So for me, birthright is this really weird thing. From people outside, it's weird. From inside, it's still weird. There's rich Jews in Europe, UK, Canada, US who give. You know what I should do? Just because I want to watch the whole thing, but this is somewhat exhausting. Um, let's just speed up the playback a little bit, like a quarter. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, oh, she'll sound, the and then she'll sound more like Ben Shapiro too. Thank you. That was, I believe, someone else's joke. But yeah. tons of money Repurpose. to the state of Israel for the purpose of bringing young Jews on this trip to Israel to connect speed with their Jewish guy. This guy's just yapping. Wait, hold on. Why? Yeah, it doesn't sound any different. <laughs> let's go to one point five, I guess. It's like. Like the most glorified version of Judate.net. I didn't care about the Zionistic thing. I don't think anyone See, there really does. They're fast, just like, oh, right? free. Yeah. Is this a better viewing experience? Just me pausing and changing the playback? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I feel like whatever. Let's actually slow it down. Yeah. Whatever. I think I, we would have finished at the same time now. Yeah. All right. Free trip to Israel. Something that I could never afford and something that sounds really great. The soldiers, Ela soldiers, they join after a couple of days. We've already been there. And there's this girl that is fucking tall and beautiful and she's got these huge Dude, blue I was eyes like, I was, why are you playing so much of my fucking video brett i the first time i watched this i forgot that i was watching her video and i was just listening to the story 
She played so much of it for no damn reason. She doesn't even comment on it. Like what? And she's got like black hair that like is in a cr crazy contrast to her blue eyes. And I'm I'm there like, I'm there like, in the corner like minding my own business. And I'm like, is anyone seeing this? Is anyone seeing this shit? What and is I think the point we of playing all of this? There isn't one. It's so bizarre. It's like it's a like lot a of the full video. Minute of uninterrupted story that she doesn't comment on. She just wants that view time. Uh, there isn't any into the Holocaust Museum and we're like um, trying to peep that out. It's kind of incredible that stuff. like I, you I, can just put in a random clip for a minute and then nobody even thinks about it. I didn't know what compelled me, but I felt like that was an appropriate time to approach you. Mm. Something it's about so the Holocaust long. Museum <laughs> was just like, this, this is appropriate. <laughs> yeah. This is the right time to say what up. Yep. And like I said before, when he first started on YouTube... Okay, so what was her original point before showing that? Uh, She's, oh, so go here. ahead. She said like... Here, I got, I, I'll play it. It's very important to them. And then you go, it's a, it was so weird. Birthright was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jewish. I'm not sure if they are practicing, but they are ethnically Jewish. And Hila is from Israel. She did her few years in the Israeli army. Her entire family is still there. And this heritage is incredibly important to them. So for me, oh, so this does not prove that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not right. even, not even close. <laughs> you're like, like for a minute, you're like, eh, they give you a free trip. So Jews. Fuck it. I mean, I'm pretty sure in this video, I was talking about how the Zionism shit was super weird and weirded me the fuck out and like they had like a mega rally for like Zionism and I just what I just like stayed home sick that day because I just didn't want to fucking do it <laughs> so like clearly and that's not to say that I don't uh you know care about Israel yeah I but in terms of like trying to exemplify how important Zionism is to me or something <laughs> right it's not really doing that. You said that they bring people over there so that they move there, but you're like, we actually tricked them right. because she came back with me. There you go. That's the thing to people who, all that Zionist accusations. I'm a, I'm an anti-Zionist. I'm the only fucking one actually going there. You're and going the other the direction. Out. I'm doing what y'all dream would happen. <laughs> right. And so I'm here getting shit. That's so funny. Come on, man. I should be getting an award from you fuckers. That's great. That's actually very funny. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> to say what up. Yep. And like I said before, when he first started ah. on YouTube, he was pretty apolitical. He was just making Frank funny content there. and bringing on any guest regardless of their politics. For example, he once had on Jordan Peterson, who he spoke very highly of. Like, it was a very positive interview. He was very excited to have Jordan on. Just take a look at these clips. Today's guest is the great and wonderful and one of our all-time favorite guests, Dr. Jordan. Okay, so this was like... Killer soundbite in retrospect. Yeah, true, <laughs> actually. This is like five, six, seven years old. I mean, six, six years. It's from uh, 2017, I believe. You've never changed your mind about something over the period of six fucking years, dummy. This is the, the, cons the conservative talking point is so relentlessly. You cannot change your mind. If you ever change your mind, you are wrong. And you're a phony, actually, too. You may not. How many shitty people has her boss, Ben Shapiro, had on over the years? It, Russell Brand was on his show six years ago right well they probably what does that mean though now. Just, what does that mean because he's part of their network now isn't he right, uh, right he's not on daily wire no no i mean who, he's in that ecosystem but who, which think one is ben though no um, I'm confused. i think it's this one yeah so yeah. he so she's taller than ben that doesn't surprise me <laughs> golly there that's a that's a bunch of good looking gals <laughs> Golly. Beautiful ladies. <laughs> anyway, uh, go on, Brett. And by the way, this is like pre-Benzo hellscape <laughs> Twitter psychotic uh, Jordan Peterson who went to rehab in Russia. Right, this was before the, Pre -COVID, the whole coma uh, saga. Before apple cider destroyed him. <laughs> So, like, this truly is a totally different dude, in my opinion. There are things that I learned about him that I didn't know at the time, as I've become more politically involved and aware, basically just how dishonest the whole trans, uh, the way he framed that the hate speech about trans people was, and, I mean, so, he's changed, Up yours. and I've learned more about him. Exactly. Is that okay with you, Brett? Acknowledge that. I mean, like Brett, you know, at the beginning of World War II, or no, before World War II, let's say, 
you know, you might have looked at Adolf Hitler and been like, hey, this guy's just a strong leader. He's got, you know, he's driving the economy. He's d getting things done. And six years later, you might have a lot different opinion about it. I don't know if you would, but some people would. Yes. You might like him more. I don't know. Yes. So I'm saying, this is just my point. I know it's dramatic, but you can't change Auschwitz. your mind about somebody. Thank you, Jordan. Jordan Peterson, who has uh, graced us with his presence. The great and wonderful Jordan Peterson. There's a lot of people that would not call Jordan that anymore because now they hate him. They Me one of them, dummy. Right. <laughs> Wait, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing that out there. <laughs> think he is problematic like everybody in Canada does. Dude, I love, by the way. Epic. If you need a hallmark of dog shit gutter level content, just look for like reaction memes edited in throughout. That triggers me. I think that's my uh, pet peeve. <laughs> Was she even born when that movie came out? Oh, you think she's young? Yeah, she's 22. So no, no way. I don't she's think so. 22. <laughs> yeah, didn't that movie come and out? She looks like a 50 year old man. 2000 or 99? Uh, 99. No, no, no. You're right. 99. 99. Yeah. I love that movie, by the way. Such a good movie. Yo, she looks like a 50-year-old man and she's 22. Uh, Brett, uh, sorry, Ben is 39. 39, whatever. Same thing. <laughs> Still old as shit. Yeah, it is the same thing. Yeah. Older you know, you age. being that same age. Right. We often point He's out. He's old as fuck. What a loser. <laughs> God, it sucks to be Ben. Matt, we all handle hate. Of one kind or another. How do you handle it? Like knowing that there's people out there who have never met you, don't know you at all, but they they just hate your guts. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, of I do recognize an irony here. Of the people that hate my guts that don't know anything about me, is basically you, mm. and all of your homies. It's it's conservatives, you know. So it, it depends on who they are. It depends if on who they are. An academic or a journalist of some repute, and they go after me with, without warrant. I'll go after them and call them out, because I think if they're professors, it's like... Look how sane he looked back then, though. This man is not in a Joker suit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's done, his hair is, like, kind of modestly done back. Uh -huh. He's yeah. straight up Two-Face now, man. Absolutely. He's in his villain arc. You can't even deny it, Brett. Get your act together. You've got a Who's position of authority. You to stop it's so touching funny. your eyes, by the way. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> All right. You're not with me 24 7. So it is what it is. And it ain't what it ain't. Um, what was I saying? Ben Shapiro, two faced now. He's. No, yeah. Jordan is. Jordan is. Yeah. What, what did I say? Oh, yeah. Yeah minutes into this podcast episode, he's asking Jordan about how he handles hate online. There's, there's people out there that don't like you, that hate you for no reason. But over the last few years, Ethan has fallen into the angry left side of the media, and he has basically become the icon for canceling people online and ridiculing right-wing conservative personalities, specifically. And he went from saying all of these wonderful things about Jordan Peterson, you know, graciously inviting him onto his podcast, saying, how do you deal with the hate? There's people out there who hate you, being genuinely interested in what he has to say, to deleting the podcast with Jordan because he regretted it because it was so problematic, and making fun of him on a daily basis, like this. Please. <laughs> And that's not toxic masculinity. Well, what are we going to do without men? <laughs> you know, uh, the real dragon of chaos is actually... The <laughs> world would be without men. <laughs> These are all different days. <laughs> Who keep notes of other enemies? It doesn't even sound like Jordan. It well, sounds like Kermit the Frog. Dan? Dan's doing oh, you just burned Ooh. yourself. He literally is what? Kermit the Frog. You just complimented my impression. You don't even know it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Delete. The possible things. It doesn't what even sound like Jordan. It sounds like Kermit the Frog. That, How I, could she be unaware there, that that's what everybody says about him? There couldn't be a higher compliment <laughs> to my impression, frankly. <laughs> Without men, their penises hang to the left. It's not a good impression, and it's just simply not a good look. But anyway. Okay, first oh, of all, no. bad look. I will sit here and take your fucking ridicule. I will take your slander and your mischaracterizations, but what I won't take is you talking shit on my impression. You're, you're just a dragon of chaos. Right. The female energy, it's, it's really something. They can both be nurturing like a mother is naturally, but also they can become chaos agents. Destructive. They use men. They just want money and shelter. I did not put my dick anywhere near my dog. And God bless him for it. 
That's what's so great of having a pussy. You can decide what goes in it. <laughs> Absolutely. He kind of did say that verbatim. <laughs> And, but men, they gotta put it in stuff! You know how hard it is to put it in? Vagina. It's a lot easier to block it. <laughs> and that's what men deal with on a daily basis. She doesn't understand. Prime. You know, a little hole, it's easy to protect. Duty. You could do it with your hand or some other foreign object, a chastity belt. But a penis! For sexual kick. My grandmother's pubes. Soft and luxurious. <laughs> I took a snip of them, saved them in my bedside. I sniff them every night, gives me comfort. Her genital region was exposed dimly. It had the appearance Smells of like a grandma. Of hair. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. Anyway, that is just one example of what Ethan's content has turned into and the complete 180 shift that he personally has had. But recently, something interesting happened because Ethan has been getting a taste of his own medicine. He has been getting dragged through the mud by his own audience for his defense of Israel and his Israeli family. Surprise, surprise, funny how that always works. Now, all of this started when his co-host for the podcast, Hassan Piker, who we all know and love, Hassan Piker! Oh, had a debate with him about there. Israel and Palestine, and Hassan was taking the <laughs> side of Palestine yeah. in the debate. Ethan was obviously defending Israel. And the vitriol from their progressive left-wing audience has been so intense that Ethan has started distancing himself from his friend and from his co-host, Hassan. Watch this. Ethan is leftovers done for good. Um, I wouldn't say it's By the done way, for good. I fucking love so much that she's reacting to a clip of me with kinetic sand. Like, there has to be people watching her video that are just boomers that don't understand what the fuck is going on right now on their screen. And they're probably staring at it too, they're probably mesmerized. <laughs> How could they uh, all I, And that, that wasn't even ours you said, love. Somebody no, else? it's a great fan account. Um, yeah, he does really <laughs> so good content. so fucking funny, dude. Oh, shit. I said is that it's, you know, I would like to take a pause from it, that's all. On one hand, people are saying, Ethan, you know. <laughs> um, someone take Ethan's phone and so here this is me relinquishing my phone I'm saying I'm taking a break with peace and love my fear with the show is just basically that um, I, for that for the time being I'm just staring at the sand is that there's gonna be a lot of really more it episodes that are one. gonna make people really angry and it's gonna be really upsetting maybe I am casting too broad of a brush when I talk about like the reception and stuff but there is a lot of people that take my I don't really even know what I did other than like try to talk about how horrible Hamas is but that, that enough turns people into just the meanest I've ever seen them. And it's just not worth it for me and my family. There's a million people everywhere talking about it. So I don't feel that I need to add my voice to it right now. You see my face? All right, you've watched enough, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> She's just locked in on the Kinetic Sand, yeah. too. <laughs> so many boomers She's not even paying attention. I mean, at this point, this might be my video. <laughs> and I might be, I see the amount of views you got there, Brady boy. Brady girl. Brady boy. <laughs> Ow. So I'm just saying, you know, keep the clips to a minimum there. He looks completely broken. So obviously he does not look like he's doing completely that broken. That clip was pretty mild to me. Right. That mm. was the best she could find as a result that I am in shambles. <laughs> Cancelled beyond repair. You're friendship ruined. Broken. And doing really badly. Which to be fair, Brett, you, you clearly don't know me, but I always look like I'm doing very badly. <laughs> You see my face? <laughs> looks completely broken. So obviously, he completely does not- completely broken. Yeah, it might be true, but it's pretty normal. Yeah. But it's yeah. consistent. Yeah. Look like he's doing well. They had that one episode, that one debate, and everything fell apart because of how angry people got. Which is incredibly ironic because he goes after people all the time online and tries to cancel them all the time online. And suddenly he is facing that. He's like, oh man, this really sucks. It's like, yeah, it's kind of how it is online these days. Can you get- what does she mean that I'm canceling people? I- I don't know. It's just- We've been in this fucking cancel c culture discourse for four or five years now, and the longer it goes on, just the stupider it gets. I, I mean, it, nobody's canceled. Ethan's fine. Yeah, the show the show's fine. It's like unaffected, pretty yeah. much. Is she like defending James Charles or, or Ryan Colleen? Kavanaugh, Colleen? Who who who's she defending here? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. but it's just the the meaning of the damn. 
cancel culture. Doesn't mean anything. It, it, it means nothing. But it, there is something good coming up here. The mob. People in your group, in your community, have created this culture where there cannot be any discourse, where there can't be any nuance or complexity or personal experiences that are informing your thoughts about a very, very difficult, huge global conflict. There's no room for that anymore. And I'm sorry, but it's your people that have caused that. And you are 100% facing the consequences of that. Oh, no. All right, dummy. Let's put a pin in that and go <laughs> over to your, to your, um, your, your benefit, or I would say your source code, Alt Ben Alter Hero. Ego. It's like, what do you call the first clone, like the original human, and like a line of clone army, you know? I guess it would be like Patient Zero type thing, or like... Patient Zero. Yeah. So, once again, uh, Brett, now, according to Brett, I've been fully canceled... Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. ...by my audience. And uh, there can be no nuanced takes on the left. Well, here's Exhibit A, dummy, and I hope you fucking see this. Two weeks ago, look at the like this. Look at the r like ratio on Benny Boy's fucking. This is Ben saying that he thinks America should support Israel, and now there's like a whole conservative movement, I guess, where people just want to be isolationists and not help any country ever, including Ukraine. So they're just out on everything, and they fucking hate this take. Actually, yep. I mean, that's like a sixty percent down vote. Is he canceled? I don't know. Let's read the comments. Fresh and fits at the top. <laughs> You know that's fucking bad. <laughs> By the way. So now that I'm up, you're down. If your audience has enough overlap with Fresh and Fit where people are actually upvoting their comment, that is dangerous in scary times. Female vaginas are disgusting. Is this really their account? Let me make sure. No, it's a fake one. Uh... <laughs> it's a fake one. I knew it because it said Fresh and Fit Miami. Right. Fit Fresh. Yeah, it's not Fit real. Fresh. Anyway, it is an upvoted comment. It says, Ben, we should do absolutely nothing to help Ukraine. Also, Ben, help Israel at all costs. Facts don't care about your feelings, unless it's about Israel, right, Ben? The answer always is that America has to spend its own resources to take care of another country where our own country crumbles. It's absolutely absurd. Ben Shapiro, Israel can carry itself. It doesn't need America. Also, Ben, America help Israel. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow Americans, your comments in response to this video are fantastic. It is just an onslaught. Israel could take care of herself, Ben Shapiro, 2016. You're on your own, Ben. Good luck in the IDF. These are his people. This didn't even get a lot of views, so this is this has 230,000. So it's not like a wide-reaching phenomenon here where th these are your people. Right. I just when I got to that part, that was it came to mind cuz I had been kind of keeping tabs on Benny boy over there, and I knew that his audience was not vibing on a lot of what he had to say, so... And I... We didn't... We didn't get a down vote ratio that bad anywhere. Well, here, like, I'll show you. Here's the two controversial episodes that I was apparently cancelled for, according to, um, Brett Cooper. So... The original discussion... Israel vs. Gaza has a 92.5 like ratio. Pretty good. Pretty average. Compared to Ben's, which is 40. <laughs> uh, here's me Ooh. having, responding to Ela conspiracy theories about her being, lying about her IDF service. Which was pretty unhinged. I got into some, I won't say unhinged, but we got in a heated back and forth with the chat. 89% dislike. Or I mean you like. Scroll down a little bit. Oh, never mind. Ian's got it. 89% like. But once again, Benny boy. Right, which is like bad for us, but not that bad. And you know what? I hate to kick someone when they're down, but go ahead, show it. No, I don't. Fuck oh. you. <laughs> I'm inside your walls, Yeah, I, Yeah, what they said. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck Ben. Fuck Ben. <laughs> um, and you know what's funny? Talking about council culture again. The reason that I'm canceled at all, that had the, probably the worst effect on our sponsors on the show, is because of Ben fucking Shapiro yep. being a little baby bitch boy about my hilarious and poignant joke <laughs> about which, something which that happened to the Jews yeah. in the midst of World War II. Right. Which, by the way, the same people in your comment section Goof saying good luck in the IDF, Ben, are the same fucking neo-Nazis that you've been courting 
your whole fucking career. Right. And that's why I said, I'm, you're first and I'm right behind you. Okay? That's my fucking point, Ben. So who's doing cancel culture? Yeah. Th literally the only, Jews. like, the only example in the last several years of an actual cancellation where we suffered <laughs> serious consequences for something was because of Ben Shapiro. <laughs> literally Ben Shapiro and conservatives. Yeah. Losing their fucking, clutching their pearls because of a Jew making a, frankly, it wasn't even like a, it, it was a useful analogy. Like, I understand that it was kind of mean-spirited. It was harsh. It was very it was harsh. harsh. It was harsh. Absolutely. But it wasn't like I just said it just to be mean. It was a, it was, you know. Yes, you were making a point. Why the fuck, by the way, when I say some shit like that, I get banned for a week, right? But then, when somebody uploads a video, a cartoon of Ela killing Palestinian kids, that stays up because it's artistic. Fucking awesome. Yep. Some bullshit. So, uh, go on, Brett Cooper. Tell me more about how I'm being eaten by the left because they disagree with this one take. Oh, what? What happened? What happened? Oh no! How terrible! That's just. That's just awful! How terrible! Girl, can you? What's like, happening? Well, can you speak? Who is this? <laughs> Oh, spit it's it like, out, oh, homie. Thank you for the reaction meme. I know how to feel about that now. <laughs> oh, shit, that was funny. Oh, no! Somebody said, liberals eat themselves constantly. You can't just have a semi-middle ground opinion anymore. You have to be super radical. One more time. <laughs> Mine was 92% like. Ben? Oof. Not good. As something as mild as saying U.S. should help Israel, which I think is extremely uncontroversial in America. Mm, yeah. I mean, especially uh, I, amongst. I did pick up from one of the comments that I think at one point he said that nukes were on the table. Which that is that's crazy. pretty psychotic to say. That is psychotic. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. I mean, oh what was God. the? Can you? I want to see that. Can you timestamp that? I'll see if I can find it. I need to. I, I didn't actually hear that. I just saw one of the comments refer to him saying that in the video, and that that's was awesome. why they were commenting. So, um, if he did say that, that's pretty psychotic. Let's see. Well, to have support right now, very true. Another person said Ethan becomes aware of Hassan. Yes, I think. Hassan. Who's hissing? He did. And just overall, I think he- <laughs> Oh, by the way, girl, good job pulling that Minecraft avatar with zero likes. That was super poignant. Look at this. <laughs> Nat990 avatar logo. <laughs> zero likes. Ethan's becoming After aware of his sin. Fucking awesome, dude. Cool. I think he did. And just overall, I think he is a bit shell-shocked and just very surprised that his audience would turn on him. You shouldn't be, because you have also turned on people. You know how it works, but, you know, he is experiencing that. What do you mean my audience turned on me? Some people disagreed. Like, you guys are the ones that characterize disagreements as cancellations. Right. And then you say that liberals or whatever are the ones that can't have conversations. It's so ironic. Oh, shit. What happened? I'm searching the transcript of that video for Nuke, and I'm not seeing anything, so... I don't wanna- I don't wanna slander Ben here. No. Uh, no, I think I'm- I think I'm seeing it. Did you Welcome find it? Welcome back I, to the comp- I didn't find it, but I, I saw some people talking about it, so let me see these timestamps here. Okay. Yeah. I believe an individual citizen in this country has a right to own a nuclear <laughs> warhead. Dude, how does anybody <laughs> listen to Tim after he said that? <laughs> I'm working on my own nuclear power program, actually. My, Are you? I'm just starting a new TikTok. I'm digging a, a basement level, a dungeon level, mm -hmm. where, and I'm working on a nuclear reactor down there. How are you enriching? I, I, I was able to acquire some enriched uranium from some friends in Russia. Not a big deal. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Klein Noble. Yeah. Klein Noble. Mm. Klein. <laughs> Firstly, calling me a Zionist pig. Mass murdering, genocidal freak. Wait, did I wa did I watch this? Where were we? I accidentally closed it. Absolutely. Some Jews would get abandoned by their own comrades. Another person said, "Red pills are hard to swallow, but they fix what ails you." Is that what you think, girl? Really? I need to take a red pill because some people disagreed with me. Where's your belly button, right. Ben? Because right. he's a clone. Oh, now streaming on Daily Wire. Very cool. Ben Shapiro XY. Now do one with Brett behind him. Wait, this is the one with Brett. Oh, wait. No, that's Ben. Oh, okay, I'm not seeing Ben mention it in this video. It seems this comment is ex uh, taking what he said as him referring to nukes by saying, responding with everything in their arsenal. 
That's a okay. stretch. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't. Strate he's he's doing the same strategic ambiguity that Israel does. Exactly. He knows the playbook. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think that's a story, Yeah, he's though. in line with official policy there. Yeah, just like Rough Greens can fix what ails your dogs. Because you might not nice realize try. it, but... You I, I saw this, I was like, yo, I need to get on these canceled ads. Because you know these fuckers don't get shit. Because they're oh, such yeah. pieces of crap. Free Rough Greens. Get your dog some of that good Greens? MAGA wheat. Get Greens your dog like the Green New Deal? Ew. I'm not fucking buying that You're shit. You're stupid. Bad My dog. Woke shit. My dog only eats the best MAGA <laughs> meals I did, around. I did fuck my dog. <laughs> it's it's made by good old MAGA folks. Churned in like my in a basement with a bunch of dudes and think it's edible. Think the dogs seem to like it. I don't know they if got it's got any kind of nutrition or nothing, but nothing ain't none of them died yet. They seem real happy and healthy. What is this soy shit? They're selling uh, vegetarian dog food. Is that what that is? That is that really what it is? Like soy alert. Rough green. I, I might be. I might be uh, reaching. Uh, let's see. I'm looking it up. Your dog. Oh, let me say this for the record. Do not fucking go harass for sponsor. This is not what I'm doing. This is not what I'm meaning to do. This is not what I want you guys to do. Just don't do that. That's you know what I mean. We don't need to do that. Don't go fucking write them an email and say dumb shit. Just don't, okay? We're just having fun here. We're goofing off. Not it trying to. It does look like it maybe is vegetarian dog food. That is, is so surprising. Soy. Yeah. You just told me I dog. need to take the red pill and you're buying vegetarian food for dogs? <laughs> I mean, at least it just shows a bunch of vegetables on the packaging. By maybe, the way, maybe there is also meat. Feeding dogs a vegetarian diet is super unhealthy. I've never done anything weird with my dogs. I remember Even some vegans were trying to do it and their dogs like are not healthy. It feels like in their mission statement that their dog food is dead food. Rough Greens provides all the live in all caps nutrients you need to bring your dog's food back to life. Well, just check the nutritional. It, is it what's the what's Yeah, I'm not the, seeing anything about meat in it. So yeah. it does seem Where's the ingredient. But they're not like explicitly calling it here, Same sweet potato, base. sunflower seeds, parsley, blackberry, wheatgrass, There's spinach, no protein? broccoli, barley grass, shiitake mushrooms. Is this a supplement? <laughs> yeah, maybe you're supposed to use maybe it it's just a, a powder supplement. supplement. Uh, yeah. That doesn't sound like Oh, yeah, it, they refer to it as a supplement. So I guess this, okay. you're supposed to mix this in with their normal dog food. Got it. Still soy. <laughs> Still My dog can't eat veggies. <laughs> Food and yeah. diet might be the root cause of their health issues. Price up for dogs and stew. Adding rough soap greens on the dogs and rough greens under cells. I don't see Spike. Ethan is fine. Ethan seven six six. My dog, and you will find out how amazing rough greens is. Just like Ethan is finding out what happens when you go against the woke mob. Like this commenter said, guess who's finding out? He certainly is. Another person said a red pill moment that should have never been needed. And listen, I don't want to celebrate. By the way, I'm sitting here before you all, live. Telling you, I have not been red pilled. Can you, if they don't can't take my word for it, then who's? Right. They're like, yo, Ethan got red pilled. I'm still, I right. know I didn't. I'm telling you right now. This Ben Shapiro fucking costume winner here, no matter what she can say, <laughs> is not going to convince me <laughs> that I got red pilled. <laughs> you should definitely get a DNA test, though. Because you are 100% that bitch. <laughs> That's the lyric, right? Yes. Because yeah, I don't, I don't want to, I would never call her that. No, you did an incredible job with the Thank lyric. Thank you. Great. Yeah. This situation, because obviously this man is hurting, his family is hurting, his wife is hurting. It's just sad overall. But it didn't have to be this way. Because Ethan was warned about this by none other than Jordan Peterson. And not only was he warned about this, but he turned what around and he mocked that, that warning. So when Ethan really started becoming radical and became radical? cancel culture trigger happy, he deleted that podcast Radlid, episode that baby. he did. One thing I learned through all this is I am definitely not radical. <laughs> I'm like pretty vanilla in terms of lefties, yep. leftists. Yeah with Jordan Peterson and dragged his name through the mud online with his audience. And in response, Jordan Peterson gave him a very friendly preview of the road that he was going down. He said, also, I should warn you that those who engage in cancel culture generally live to regret it. 
I'm not going to come after you, except politely in this Twitter stream. But the chickens will definitely come home to roost. You will be held to higher and higher and soon impossible to maintain ethical standards by the very mob you currently wish to please. Then you will make a mistake and they will devour you with glee. Please take this warning seriously. (laughs) I liked you. Here I sit before you with 41,000 live viewers. Fully canceled. I've lost everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So people have been reading this to me for so long. How, for how long does he have for that to be right? Because, mm-hmm. I mean, you can't be on the internet without, like, going through controversies, especially when you're talking about politics and all the shit I do. So what? how exactly? Do we get an expiri- expiration date? Are we talking, like, till I'm 80, till I'm dead? If you no, could, just, yeah, for the rest of your life. Just for the rest if of my life. If anybody gets mad at you, Jordan Peterson was he, right. He gave me the sacrifice brand. Yeah. The From Berserk. I can't get rid of <laughs> right. it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've been branded. You have been sac- marked for sacrifice. You're the struggler now. But of course, Ethan did not take it seriously at all. Somebody responded to this from Jordan and said, somebody needs to make a Jordan Peterson. I told you so meme already. Another person said, this is almost predictable. The woke demands 100% compliance no. or else. Ethan. Is- one sec. The woke demand 100% compliance or else. Uh, one more. What was the like ratio in our Israel-Gaza one? 93-ish. 93% likes. That's, Saddam that Hussein invaded good. Kuwait. President Jordan. One sec, if we go to Ben Shapiro's from two <laughs> weeks ago, this is what America must do. Hey, dummy, take a look at your own fucking backyard. 14,000 likes. Dislikes. That's brutal, man. Talk about. Oof. Talk about not being able to be your own man. I mean, especially coming from Ben. I mean, you literally can't be your own man. You look like Ben Shapiro. No! Here you guys are. Ben Shapiro XY, the first generation of clones. <laughs> That's scary. That's so true. That's so true. Where's their belly button? <laughs> I've never seen them. Ever. Whoa. That's true. Damn, uh, Brett's got some is now abs. Getting- yeah, he looks good. They look good. <laughs> they exercise. That's, that's conser- part yeah. of the conservative doctrine. Right the or else part. Absolutely correct. Ethan not only refused to take this advice from Jordan, but he also mocked and ridiculed Jordan for even giving him the advice. This is epic. He says, also, I should warn you that those who engage in cancel culture generally live to regret it. Please take this warning seriously. I liked you. Yeah, I'm sure it was much easier. (laughs) I'm a funny guy. (laughs) The words of Jimmy Lee. What the fuck? Why did you show that? <laughs> Doing like an Emperor Palpatine thing. To make fun of him and do your Jordan impression that and throw not. this out of proportion and say it was ridiculous it was not when you Jordan were not being impression. attacked. Talk about blowing... No, definitely not. Talk about blowing it out of proportion, man. This man just sent me one fucking tweet and y'all can't stop talking about it. <laughs> Dummies. But look what happened. You. But this is, the conservative grift is so fucking easy, you guys. 860,000 views. Which is three or four times more, three times more than she usually gets. And like, I've heard this exact argument made a thousand times. It's like a rite of passage. It's just milking those views, baby. Mm -hmm. You did make a mistake in the eyes of the mob. You are being attacked. The chickens have come home to roost. You made fun of this man. Some people are mad at me. Is that what you mean? Like. It's you you sound like a fucking child. You sound so infantile. Canceled is like what happened to like Kevin Spacey. Yeah. That man is canceled. Okay. Canceled is like what happened to um Army Hammer. Mm-hmm. That dude, Chris D'Elia, they're gone from public life. Mm-hmm. These are a, a fraction of my audience disagreeing with me. Like, you are so infantile. You're so childish. This is how you perceive conversations happening? Are you f- this is pathetic? Like, holy shit. You know? Cancel is what's going to happen when the QAnon people figure out that you guys are actually doing cloning experiments. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't go to the pizza parlor tomorrow. Right. I like you guys. <laughs> He has no pizza experience. (laughs) And for pointing Uh, it out correctly, and you're facing the consequences. Uh, Thank you, Zach. Smart. Yeah, we're good. We know. And said, and Jordan was right. 
as he usually is. Are we surprised by any of this? Absolutely not. Anyway, anyway, she just goes on. It's pretty annoying, but are pretty worthless. Yeah. So there's Brady Cooper. So what do we think? Welcome back to the I comment the section. The answer to the title. Pretty... Was Jordan Peterson right? He was right. Yeah. Oh, okay. He'll be right. He has a long time to be right. Yeah. I think by the time that I my life is done and over, and I it's time to say goodbye. I'm sure that he'll be he'll be able to be right by then, if not Dang already, right. if not already. We'll figure it out. Man, the barricades. He's right, though. There's going to be a lot of roosters roosting, it, chickens it, roosting. His prediction was basically fuck. this. I predict that a fraction of your audience will eventually get mad at you for something you said. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you've never heard of chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there it is. There's the, uh, yeah. the rising star. on their own open fire. <laughs> The chestnuts controversy was bigger than this. Dude. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you got more people mad oh, about that. I got fucked for chestnut. Yeah. Dude, I got railed for chestnut. <laughs> Although, once again, I did issue a 10 out of 10 apology. Which is worth mentioning. Mm -hmm. Right. The first Absolutely ever rated. and only perfect score apology by uh, Psychology in Seattle. Like fuck, Grace. Tomorrow, Ohio votes on adding abortion rights and other reproductive health to the state constitution. Yes. If she went passes, abortion remains legal in Ohio. Could you please remind Ohioans to vote? Yes. Yes. Ohioans, go vote. Go vote. Right. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's important. election day. We should look it up and make sure that that's not a troll getting our audience to I vote actually, for an abortion ban. <laughs> I just don't know enough about it. Well, I read, have well, gotten listen, a few read the fucking people. ballot. You know what I mean? Right. Don't, don't just go Let's vote see. one. Issue one. Vote for the one that is keeping abortion legal. Uh, go to the polls. Okay. Go, they're they're go not the trolling. Polls. Issue one is, is, a, is a yes. Go vote. Ohioans out there, Pokemon go to the polls. From Ohio, the white boy. By the way, her most recent video from yesterday, a day ago, 90,000 views. Jordan Peterson was right. 870,000. Gen Z hates sex scenes? Huh? Where'd you see that? Three days ago, that video. Gen Z hates sex scenes. Oh, I, what the Hollywood fuck? needs to Welcome stop. Welcome back to the comment section. She's wearing I the same outfit. How many are you making a day? <laughs> oh, they're Hold the phone. She's a content queen. Yo! Old Don't hate on my girl for, for productivity. It's the, uh, it's the quartering uh, method where you just knock out like 15 a day. So here she's wearing a different. So these two were shot on the same day. Yeah. At least change your shirt. Jeez. It's a little corny, I think. Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Today we are talking about something that we have talked about a lot on the show, which is how our society and our media just pushes sex and sexuality so hard these days. And the demographic for that sex oh, and sexuality yeah. keeps getting <laughs> younger and younger, which is the real problematic problem. I don't like it, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. From the education system to I social- I don't like it. That's so funny because I wasn't sure how to feel, but after that, who, by the like way, it. that, I forget it, what's his name? Chris? Chris Evans. He's like a massive lib, by the way, so, kind of ironic. I don't mm -hmm. like it. That's I always true. see him tweeting out some lib shit. Mm -hmm. I don't like Which it. Which I agree with, by the way, just to be clear. Social media to porn consumption, it truly is everywhere. But per a recent study, young adults in America might not be as interested in it as- Okay, whatever, just turn off the porn then, lady, if you don't want to watch it, I don't know what to tell you. Blah, blah, blah. I know tons of people that love porn. <laughs> What Ian? But oh, Zach silenced me. Sorry, I downloaded some reaction gifts too, just to add some. You know. Oh, you did? Oh, we got a couple of classics. You know, we got like this guy. Oh hell yeah! That's a good one. That one's so. Can funny. you please include those throughout? Yeah, that's gonna be a big, 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 big contributor, so people know how to feel about. Yeah. Okay. Like here, let me set this up. Yeah. I'll be like, did you guys see this Brett Cooper video? I mean, what the heck? And anyway, <laughs> she couldn't be more wrong. I mean, she said Jordan Peterson predicted I'd be canceled, but come on. Anyway, uh, nice. she clearly is not familiar with my content because people get mad at me all the time. <laughs> oh, for real. Sometimes I feel that way. That's so I'm just me like right backing now. away. That's so me right now. Yeah. 
Anyway, I love gamer subs. Let me take a sip. <laughs> ah, perfect. <laughs> Dude. Wow, I feel like we're communicating on a whole new level. Yeah, this is Delete great. Delete me from this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe that Ben Shapiro is Brett Cooper in a wig. Right. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> that is so true right now, isn't it? <laughs> well, anyway, enough about Brett Cooper. I can't wait for the chocolate segment. Ah, hmm? oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> you see, it does, it's really good. I understand why she does it now. It's not like a crutch or anything at all. It's not like she's not confident in her own content that she's got to fucking use pieces of other people's content to convince you, the audience. She's so insecure, by the way. She's got to fucking convince you guys that her content is better than it is. Right, Ian? I ran out of gifts. Ah. Sam's telling me the chocolate person is here, though, actually. Oh, but bring him in. Damn. That's so this. Well, I'm just well, wasting well. time for that. <laughs> I am so fucking jazzed up right now. <laughs> if there's any other chocolate, you're a chocolate fiend, huh? You big on the chalk, dude. I've never been that big into chocolate. I'll be honest. Like compared to other like desserts, chocolate is like chocolate. universal. And it's like S tier for you, dude. It's chocolate. I know that. Yeah, it's I like know. one of our greatest. I'm probably in the minority. It's like yeah, as far as humanity goes. Mm -hmm. I think you could go across all cultures of the world. Everybody loves, it's just, there's nothing like it. Now, I like chocolate. I'm not saying that I like fucking love, 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 love chocolate or anything, but it is a fascinating food. Let me put it this way. When you were a kid, you go to the ice cream shop, vanilla or chocolate, which one are you take? I wouldn't get either, but I wouldn't get chocolate. Chocolate ice cream is boring. I agree. Chocolate you said you wouldn't get either? I would get mint and chip. That's my vibe. Oh. You said right, chocolate right. ice cream's horrible? No, I said boring. Oh, okay. Boring. I eat it. Give me a cup, I'll eat it. I'm just saying it's... Well, the mint and chip, there's chocolate in there, so... Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's a chocolate approval. But, like, dude... I mean, can you name any other food that's consumed widely and enjoyed? Maybe rice? <laughs> like ri <laughs> rice? Yeah, Chicken? rice. Meat? Chicken. Mm -hmm. Poor chickens, man. <laughs> Is there anyone that doesn't eat chicken? Those poor sons of guns. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Everyone does. Feel so bad. Is there somebody that don't eat chicken? Yeah, I, I don't know if there's countries yeah. that don't eat chicken. I, mean, I, I don't, don't eat chicken. Me neither. I know not. Oh. I didn't say, are there people in the world that don't eat chicken? Are there countries where it's like not the norm for people to eat chicken, you know? That's where chickens want to move to. Yeah, chicken yeah. paradise. There countries where <laughs> Call people it, uh, don't uh, eat chicken. <laughs> like, I don't know, in Tibet, they're Buddhists, they, they're vegetarians, right? I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, and in India in general, there's a lot of vegetarians, though. Um, uh, yes! Okay, stop right there, Dan. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh my. Okay, hold on. As you, I'm just gonna use the bathroom as you're setting up, and I'll come right back. But I'm excited, thank you. What's your name? So here, just, you can say hi so everyone knows. This is Jonathan. This is the Hi rival guys. chocolatier. Hey, Jonathan. Welcome Hi, Jonathan. To Welcome. Welcome. So much chocolate, yeah. and it's all being left right here. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Man, it's hype. Uh, are there any uh, cultures that don't eat chicken? Here's a, a Quora thread about that exact question. Let's find out what it has to say. Yes, there are some cultures and religions that do not consume chicken but eat other types of meat. Here are some examples. Hinduism. Many Hindus avoid eating beef and pork. Right, we knew about that. However, they may consume other meats such as chicken, lamb, or fish. That's such a non-answer, bro. What the fuck? I didn't ask what about dumbass. beef and pork. Jeans don't. Here, here's a Reddit thread from 2013. <laughs> September 11th, 2013. Never forget. Some cultures don't eat pork and other <laughs> beefs. Is there any culture that doesn't eat chicken? Here we go. Uh, many archaeologists believe that chickens were the first domesticated not for eating, but for cockfighting. What? Oh, God, the poor So don't chickens. eat them, but animal abuse. Right, right, right. What? Chicken I mean, this is some random Reddit comment, so don't, don't no. take that. I that was 100% real, but... Um, no, I'm going to. I'm the, yeah. Reddit, I'm the Reddit research queen. Here. Oh, their link was to Smithsonian Magazine, and this page can't be found, so I can't <laughs> dig in more about the anthropology of chicken fighting. 
Fuck. back in the day. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think Ethan might be right. I'm not seeing any specific cultures where, like, chicken's a, a no-no. So, there you go. There no you safe go. place. I love chicken. You love chicken? Shout yeah. out all the chickens. I just ate a bunch of chicken, dude, and the katsu curry and rice and stuff like that. Hell yeah. I think we, we gotta eat chicken on Thanksgiving. We gotta keep the turkeys alive. All right. But I every disagree. I feel like every other day is chicken Thanksgiving. You know I, I, mean? I fucking hate turkey. I man. hate turkeys. Kill them all. Hate, <laughs> I won't eat them. Turkey. Wait, you want to kill the turkey and you won't even eat it? I won't even eat it. I just I, I'm scared of You just want them like We, got, we gotta turkeys. keep them alive. And dude. I'm the bird guy. Fuck those turkeys. What the fuck? Wow, dude. yeah, that is big. You yeah. are the bird guy. What, I hate, what, 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 why? I mean, dude, what's up with turkeys? And so I hate birds. Scary. Look at a turkey. Can we Google a turkey face real quick and show the audience what a turkey looks like? They're scary. They scare me. You know, <laughs> look at a turkey. There's a lot of people that are afraid of birds or various type of birds, and that's something that's just never clicked for me. I don't Dude, get it. Have I you don't seen get a that. Uh, yeah, but yeah. like turkey they react like, like I, I'm I, like I don't like spiders and a lot of creepy crawly bugs, and <laughs> so I get it. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> look at But uh, I just never understood why people are afraid of birds. Like birds are cool. I mean, turkeys are kind of okay. ugly, I'll give you that. They, they're but... demons, dude. They're like a they ball sack. Be they're definitely no. ugly. Do you eat it and play it? Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we get a shot of the table, the spread out here? Uh, yeah. Here, you want to fire up the so, um, camera? What, first of all, yes. Are you, what's your position at the Comparte? I am the owner. You are the owner. I'm the Woo! owner. Yeah. I see you're f blinged out and some sick ass Prada. I am. So, I do yeah. chocolate for for lots of brands. So, uh, but yeah, I'm the owner. But I'm also the the chocolate maker, and I also design all the packaging. And the packaging is like it's a one man show. Yeah, it is. It's like it's a one man show. But we have 30 people that make the chocolate, which is amazing. Yeah. So how many employees do you have? How big is the company? We have about 30 people that make it. Yeah. And we used to have four stores before the pandemic here in LA. We had like Brentwood, Century City, yeah. uh, Hollywood, and then we closed them all. And now our chocolate's just online and like at Nordstrom's and Bloomingdale's and things like okay. that. Okay. So similar, did you know about Ann Sons? Do you know about them? You know, I didn't know about them until I watched your show because I got so many texts of people saying like, <laughs> they're trying Compartes it's on H3. So and I was like- of all. Whatever I said about compartes at the time, we're gonna put it aside. You're, you wait until you can put it aside. Thank you. We're Thank you. Thank you. I like. I saw that you liked a lot of the bars in the beginning too, and I was like, okay, I have to bring him the best of the best stuff, Please. right? And yeah. we've got like, like do you like peanut butter? Oh yes. Okay. Like we have so much stuff. We have our donut bar too, but like. Look at this. This is our Zodiac chocolate box. It's it's so, so freaking cool. So you do the, pa what does I it mean that. that you make the chocolate? What does that so mean? So I do the recipes and I also do the packaging. So all, because I think people eat with their eyes first, right? So like if yeah. you're giving a gift, yeah. you want it to look really cool and amazing. Mm -hmm. So we have like that. And then we have all these bars, which we have like the donut bar. I want to pass them around for everybody. But like, first Absolutely. can we do the peanut butter cups? Let's because go. They're like, yes, yes, yeah, They're yes. like freaking. So we have dark and milk chocolate peanut butter cups. So whichever you like. Ooh, those look fucking nice. They're, they're so, so we make our peanut butter with honey instead of sugar. Mm -hmm. And it's like super We'll bring it honey. over here. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> Here's peanut Thank butter you. cups. All right, I'm going to do, oh, that's heavy too. It's Got some so good. To it. It's so good. Hold on. And then oh, I'm gonna, shit. Look at that. So it's a giant. Uh, yeah. Homemade peanut butter cup. And that crunch, that's what you look for when you eat chocolate, right? But like the inside is full with the sticky honey peanut butter situation. It's like that's crazy. That's crazy. Sam, yeah. you have, and I love that Sam loved comparses too. Which <laughs> is like amazing. Well, she yeah. Oh my god, they look. She said it's her favorite cool. chocolate. She brought it here. Thank you. Oh, I gotta eat this. Mmm. So that peanut butter was like named the best peanut butter in LA. Really? Yeah. We, Do you sell the peanut oh, butter by itself? I used to sell it by the jar, mm -hmm. but then I was, it was like really hard to, I had to choose, make chocolates or sell peanut butter. You didn't wow. have enough? No, it was just like annoying. It was just, I see, I see. So I was like, I have to put it in chocolate instead. Oh, um, that's crazy. So I do like how crunchy the chocolate is. 
that snap. It's a nice texture. Yeah, the snap is like what most like people that are educated in chocolate they're looking for is that snap really? on the outside. Yeah, that means the chocolate's at the right temper, which is like makes it crunchy, makes it shiny. You can see like, oh, I hear everybody snapping around the studio. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> see, that's what I like. That's like music to my ears. But the Anson's ones was very soft. That's what I kind of noticed about it. The chocolate layer was like really delicate. Yeah. I think most people look for the snap, which is the temper. We're snappers here. Yeah, we're snappers. And like, I always think like ele elevated nostalgia, right? It's like, people love peanut butter cups. How can I make them better? Or this is like, do you like nuts or no? I like it. Yeah, I like this it. Is... The only thing I don't like is jelly filling. I know. That, I... That's it. First of all, I don't make any jellies. <laughs> no, no jellies. Dude, bro. And why is that? Why is that? To be honest with you, I don't like jelly either. Oh, dude. Okay. I really don't some serious chocolate clout right there. I like I don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm just like a peanut butter only. Oh fuck. That's super good. That's like a gore that's I love a that. that's a gourmet turtle. So that has caramel, nuts and then a sea turtle. salt. <laughs> oh it's, shit. I don't you're know. kicking your feet. Come <laughs> grab. Yeah, you guys come take oh, it's good. Those are like, so again, it's like a turtle is caramel and nuts. And people always know that from different like so bars you could buy at the grocery store or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I was like, how can I make that better? That's clever. I like that. Yeah. And put the sea salt on top. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, I noticed you're going for the dark ones. Do you like yeah. dark better than milk? Yeah. I do. Yeah. And your thoughts on that as a chocolatier? You know, we make like 300 different types of chocolate. Do I, you make your chocolate? We make everything from scratch everything like the peanut butter the chocolate the caramel everything is done by hand you must we, have a really nice or interesting facility where you i wish you would come yeah. now you're gonna have to go to like two chocolate factories, but but i think you guys should come it would be amazing or bring your kids because we used to do like kids oh, yeah. birthday parties oh really yeah and i would teach kids how to make it oh, and they could like nice. decorate their own chocolate and stuff like that <clears throat> so what's the process of making chocolate for you guys from scratch so we basically for example like this tic-tac-toe thing i'll show you right so this is like this is so cool this is the edible tic-tac-toe mm -hmm. if you want to try it but basically it's kind of made upside down i don't want to touch your chocolate so if you take one out and show i can explain how it's made oh that those are beautiful that's super cool too because you can like li literally play it as a game so it's like why would you give boring chocolate when why? you give chocolate that looks like this so true you just so totally impugned anson's whole business model <laughs> So you see that mm. snap, so snap. salted caramel on the outside. So the way we make it is you make like the shell first. That's snappy. Dan, are you trying it too? That's so okay. good. That one's crazy. That one has, mm. so you make the shell first, then we inject it with caramel and then we top it and then you turn it over and that's how the chocolate is actually made. So it's kind of made upside down from the way that you're Could you hand it. you hand make each one? Every one. Every Holy one. smokes. Yeah, we've been in business since 1950. So it was like, um, Compartes has become sort of like Instagrammable, trendy brand. Well, clearly you're not 80. So who's, I know. Your, uh, <laughs> you know, the owner before you. Yeah. It's a family business. So okay. my dad did it and my grandma did it. Oh, so it's, so I'm like a third generation. Family. Yeah. Oh, We've been in LA the whole time, but like Marilyn Monroe used to shop at Compartes, Frank Sinatra. It's like okay. this cool Hollywood wow. history. Nice. Um, and then I grew up just kind of making chocolate. And it was kind of like a boardwalk chocolate shop, like you'd see at a fair or, you know, at any little small town. And I wanted to like modernize it and make it cool. Um, what's the process though? You guys buy like a bunch of cocoa beans from somewhere. Do you get them from all over? You have so, one source. Yeah, we don't do bean to bar chocolate. So okay. we, it's kind of like what you were watching with Anson. Okay. So um, we melt down the chocolate and then, well, we have our specific certain blend of chocolate. So we have like three to different types of dark chocolate we use. And then we have a milk and a white. And what's interesting about our white, do you, I know you're not a big white fan, but I, Sam, I know you were excited to try this too. I like white. Really? This is a cornbread you know, chocolate bar. I, I, That's the other oh, thing. Oh, like, shit. This cornbread? Is, this is amazing. Yeah, like. Somebody gasped back there. Who was that? This is, I'm, I even want to eat some of that. Because I love cornbread. Please, eat it. Like, eat it. I do everything that. Do you eat chocolate oh. every day, like a whole bunch, or are you over I, it? Uh, I, you know what? I eat a lot of chocolate. I don't eat like I eat chocolate and salad because it's all about balance, right? <laughs> so Especially in LA. At the end of the day, is there chocolate on the counter? Do you eat it? There's a lot of chocolate, yeah. And if I go on vacation or like I go somewhere, I 
always bring my chocolate. I, like, I can't. I get. Wow. This is so interesting. Isn't it? Hmm. I know Sam was going to go crazy for that. Correct. So, so this, like, this, most people say they don't like white chocolate, but our white chocolate in particular is kind of special, I think. Um, so how do you go about finding a so, good chocolate maker with the beans and they make the whole chocolate? Yeah. So Who are these people? I'm basically tasting it all the time mm -hmm. and I'm always trying to improve the recipe. So it's it's like people send me different samples of chocolate oh, from okay. different countries. So chocolate grows in like the equatorial regions. So you have Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, a lot of South American countries that grow chocolate uh, or cocoa beans. Um, they also grow it in Hawaii now, too. OK, so like that's my dream is to like have my own cocoa farm in Hawaii mm -hmm. and like grow it myself. What's stopping you? Making all the chocolate here in LA. It's too much to do. <laughs> and Hawaii, I feel like I'd get bored in Hawaii. Well, it is an island. It is an island. I'm, see, I'm, I'm even gonna eat this. This is a corn, it's so good. Oh yeah, that's, what do we think? That no, is the most amazing thing I've ever had. That's Whoa. This is my new favorite flavor. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh my God, oh this my is so God. good. I love this. Are we, are you, really what unique. are you eating, Sam? The cornbread one? Never, yes, the never cornbread. Oh, you guys want to try the donut one too? I can't even tell what you're holding. You mutilated love. the thing. Look at what Sam's holding up. But the, it's just the bag. Okay. You can, <laughs> that, that is the most amazing thing I think I've ever had in my life. Wow. The like texture, the crunch of the corn. What is, what is so these? good. Donut. So good. Oh, donut and coffee. That's our number one bestseller. Really? This is our number one best selling flavor, the donut and coffee okay. bar. Oh, Hold the phone. Wait, I want to give you guys some too. You ever think about doing like a golden ticket thing just for fun? Yeah, but I heard that like they have the lockdown on. You can't do you, it. You cannot say. We can't say that. Mm. We're not allowed. <laughs> Can you call it like a golden platinum ticket? Oh, fuck. Wait, hold on. Do you, do you hold, on. <laughs> hold the phone. Hold on. Hold it. That's really good. That's really good. There's, I love that. There's like literally chunks of donuts in it. So it's a nice flavor combo. Yeah. I go to like, oh my God, donut shops That's around in LA and I get fresh donuts and we literally like pull them apart mm -hmm. and throw them in the chocolate. If you look at our Instagram or our TikTok, you can see them making it. Mm -hmm. We do so much on like TikTok and Instagram of the videos of showing how it's made. Um, and it's literally milk chocolate, donut pieces and coffee grinds. Mm. Wow. That's crazy. That one's really good. There, th That's the cool thing about Compartes is because we have so many flavors. Mm -hmm. It's like almost there's something for everyone. You guys are always making new flavors and yeah, like eating. like there's Diwali, which is the Indian New Year now. Yeah. Um, and so we did like this Diwali box that has holy smoke that has and I designed this really cool packaging. So it has like mango lassi, coconut ginger. It's like all Indian flavors. We have a Hanukkah chocolate collection. We have a Very Christmas. Chocolate. All we have like flavors. all different flavors. Yeah. Well, well, well. Don't hold out. Oh yeah, I, I love <laughs> India. I love India too. I know. God bless them. God bless. Great um, culture over there. Ian, could you um on Jonathan's shot turn off the uh, the background just for a second, just because that packaging is Ooh. so nice. But it's like we have you on the green screen, so all the green in that packaging is getting uh, keyed out and looks all fuzzy. Just one second. Mm. Oh shit! There we go. Look at that. Oh my god! It's so nice. That's so good. That's the Indian one. So it has like kind of unique flavors. Yes. What so, is that one? It's so good. Uh, there's like a little guide in the top this of one. the, because oh. we, because literally like we make a lot of small batch things that are like a drop. It should say it in there. What does it say from last time? Oh, okay. Time? What is that? Pear cardamom? Pear cardamom. Dude, that one's so good. That is so fucking good. I love the flavors of the Indian uh, flavors mixed with the chocolate. I know. I expected and really good. That And that's what's so cool, because we do like, we actually did, um. I would say this one wasn't that good. We did a Velveeta chocolate mm -hmm. collab that was filled Jeez. with Velveeta cheese. That sounds gross. That sounds disgusting. Yeah. They did a lot of Jeez. tastings online about it. So hold on. And people didn't love it. Did, did When you do something like that, do you feel like I shouldn't have done that or it's, it's such fun? And I mean, that one in particular, it was like they had it on like the Today Show and Good Morning America. And I was like, great, people are going to our website. They know it's cheese and chocolate. They know it's probably not going to taste good. Yeah. And so, you know, uh, but we do like, we have an avocado chocolate bar. We have a rosé wine chocolate bar. 
that's like kind of what we're known for is these you wacky the flavors. The bars. And then like now really the boxes have become this big thing. Like I know. Oh, fruit chocolate. I have no jellies, but I do have something that I wanted right. to see what you think about. I'll try it. Okay. Apple. I got a little anxious when you mentioned fruit chocolate. I know, but this is like, this at least you could see. You know those boxes of chocolate that you get and you can't, you don't know what's on the inside, uh -huh. right? So like, at least this, you know you're getting oh, the fruit. that's awesome. So if you okay. don't like the that, fruit, you could cool. skip these, right? I love that. I love that. Did you guys try the Indian ones? The, yeah, the yeah, yeah, the Diwali know. collection. It's Great. so good. So like, which ones of this would you have? Okay. Like oh, damn, that's heavy. So we got like boji or yeah. orange kiwi. The most Berry. popular is like maybe. Yeah, the most popular is like the orange slices, orange peels, and apricots. Right, I'm gonna try the blueberries. Oh, snap! Mm, my tooth, <laughs> almost. <laughs> but like, mm. it's not a jelly. I like this. It's not a jelly. It's a fruit. It's like a dried fruit. Yeah. So you know what you're getting. You Love don't that. just bite in and have a random. Love. Love. What do you think, Sam? I haven't tried this one yet. But you love the cornbread. Did you guys try the donut one back there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the donut yeah, was the donut great, good too. dude. It was like, really good. We have so many, too. We have gingerbread. We have strawberry shortcake. I love that you brought so much. You heard me. I heard you, but I was already planning you to. Already because, did. like, I would not go and I I, I don't take... I'm. This You're is for you, it, right? I'm leaving it. Okay. I would always leave it. Yeah. Not only did you say that, but I would never take it. That's I'm why I'm. You. That's why I'm always I'm like the the guest at the dinner party that people like to invite, even though they might not really want to invite me. They're probably inviting me for the chocolate. For the chocolate. Yeah. It's like you ever think that they maybe, know what they got? You ever think that maybe that's true? I think it probably is true. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm like the great. Yeah. Just invite me to your event. I'll bring the chocolate. That's awesome. Just so anyone that wants to, I'll I'll go. You know. So, you guys don't have brick-and-mortar stores anymore? We don't have brick-and-mortar, but we're online. So, we're at compartes.com, um, and then on Instagram, like, we're the most most followed Instagram. Because the chocolate's also really pretty, right? So, it's, like, very aesthetic packaging. And what's cool is that there's so many options on the website. So, if you're shopping for somebody, like, you could get them, if, if they've just been to Japan, you could get them, like, matcha green tea. Or if they like coffee, you get this right. and that and the other. I think that Indian one was my favorite. It was so nice. You want another one? I got it over here. This Dude, I know. I'm starting to get murdered. Which one? So oh, good. the raspberry this cluster. Is, this is my favorite of the day. And For and sure. our chocolate, by the way, just so everyone knows, it's the only chocolate to ever get a perfect score from Bon Appetit. Really? And it's, I know. Yeah. Thank you. Go. Ahead. Yeah. Wow. That. That was like a big deal for me because I never went to chocolate school or anything. I just made chocolate like the way that I would want to so make it. So what chocolate got a perfect score? The truffles. Oh, the is, truffles? Yeah, well, which is... Which but that's is, what I need. <laughs> I can't believe you're saving the truffles for last, I'm saving man. the best for last. This is, why, this is why we're here. This is this... Well... This is, this is all those painted colorful ones, right? Holy shit. Beautiful. So this got a perfect score, these truffles. The only chocolate to ever get a perfect score. And this is also like been on, I know we talked about Oprah on Friday, but this is the most favorited Oprah thing of all chocolate. I like, saw that this morning. Oprah is, loves and, this chocolate. And do you know how many points are in those or no? That's a 10. Do you have how any of this? Weight Watchers points? Yeah. Do you know what's funny? Weight Watchers had asked me to do, <laughs> do like a collab. <laughs> That's And funny. I was scared I, to know the points. So I didn't want to do it. I didn't why, want anyone to cast it. Why do they do that? Don't. That's not a good collab, Oprah. So let no me offense. You. The calorie thing. Like what I would try is either Pistachio. I can tell you, like, I know all the flavors off off the top. Well, of which my is head. the ten out of ten flavor? Um, I mean, it was the whole box. Oh, it was the box it was, was rated. Box. Okay. Yeah. It was it was the whole box. The whole that, box. Yeah, the only chocolate to get a perfect score from Bon Appetit and like Consumer Reports best chocolate. I was watching on Friday and I was thinking. We've got a lot of cred. I want you have I, I want Macaulay. you guys to see the best of the best. So which one should I do here? You says this one's pistachio. That's coconut. The one above it's pistachio, which I love. Is there just a plain chocolate truffle? Hold on, I don't want to. I want to give you the, the best plain chocolate yeah, truffle, which I it. have somewhere. Here it is. This is oh. brand new. This is like really special. <laughs> I brought so much stuff. I love, dude. There is really so much stuff. This I know. Awesome. Thank you, S Sam. Sam, didn't you say you you've been preparing for this all day? You really? 
I, I I'm smart. I didn't eat either. I was like making the chocolate for you guys and eating it just to make sure because I was like, you you're gonna it? taste. What it. do you mean? Oh yeah, like I made these you about made an hour ago today. What? Yeah. yeah, that's so crazy. Like I'm Holy the shit. chef and the chocolatier and the you know because it's my own business, so it's amazing. like really important that everything's amazing. Wow, it's my reputation. That's, that is amazing. Do you make it at the store? Yes. Cool. Was it hard to try? Oh, these look. These are puffed, so, okay, powdery so, little devils. That's like a traditional rolled truffle. <laughs> and if you guys didn't know, the reason why truffles are called truffles is because they look like a truffle mushroom. Mm. Right? Oh, I see. And that's why they have that powder. Oh, shit. They're, they're, those are so decadent. They're so good. Mm. That's like a pure dark chocolate, super dark truffle. Is a little hazelnut? That's a 10. No hazelnut. Really? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> like the powder is making you think. Hazelnut. Mm. I like the powder. It's so interesting. Yeah, it's. It, it don't seem like this. No, it. That's kind of the traditional way that they mm -hmm. do it in Europe and stuff mm. like that. Oh my god. But it's really decadent. It's like, I was thinking, why don't I call them like blackout truffles? Because like, it's almost like you want to black out when you eat them. They're so. <laughs> they're so. so they're intense. So. Mm -hmm. Was it hard to transition from <laughs> having four stores to selling online only? You know, it's been like the best thing of my life, actually. Really? I love selling online because then like everyone can buy so it. simple. Yeah. We also online? open, we have some Comparte stores in Japan. Hmm. And I also just opened a Comparte store in Dubai, in the Dubai Mall. Really? And we ship like all over the world. So I know like if you have viewers in Canada yeah. and Australia, like we ship all you over the world. You do it all over the place. Yeah. You guys are international. It was a yeah. serious operation. Yeah. We And we really take it seriously. Like our shipping team, you know, I have people that have worked for me for like 14, 15 years, worked with me, and they, they every single like shipment that we do, we check the address to make sure that it's not going to melt. We add the ice packs. Like Dude, we're I, very serious about it. I always, I assumed for some reason that this was all like machines and packaged automatically and wrapped yeah. up. And the fact that y'all are making it is really surprising. And I mean, good and cool. People think that because it's like, people see the brand in a lot of places. I mean, this is so cool. This is brand new. I just put this on my website Beautiful. before I drove here. Oh, you did? Yeah. So this is the first? Like uh, even the photo shoot was at my house last night. Hell yeah. What's in it? That's a beautiful box. This is freaking amazing. Looks I think like this a is the pair coolest of new thing. Louis Batons. Yeah. Louis B. Yeah. Right? It does. This. I think this is the coolest thing I've ever made. Look at the So pattern. it's keying out because keying out you're in front of a green screen. Oh, Let's hit go. him with the bars. Dude. Right? This is like a... A bar trunk. Wow. The magnetic. That's a box. great gift. Amazing. Yeah. This is such a good oh, gift. Oh, that's the magnet closer. Yeah. Love those. It's like those here, so here you, awesome. you could. I mean, it's so cool, right? Because I think like, if you're gonna give someone a gift, you want to give them something that wow. <laughs> just, just my girl with her compartes. Taking this. Woo! That's so <laughs> posh. It's posh, right? Mm -hmm. It makes an impression. How much is this? 200 bucks. That's <laughs> gross. Yeah, with 16 bars inside. 200. 16 and bars. Chic yeah. As hell. How yeah. much is a bar? 9.95. And let's And I could do I, I would even I would do an uh, an I would do an H3 viewer discount. I have to apply, I have to put it on right now before go. we I could uh, H3 loves compartes. Could be the code. Good. Beautiful. Um this this box is gorgeous. That's really special, right? Like what do you get for somebody that has everything? Or like your grandparents or your parents. Right. Yeah. I never thought to buy chocolate, you know, but it is really a nice gift. But you, everyone loves chocolate. <laughs> uh, just chilling with my compartes. My wife and kids are going to be so happy to see me. They are, aren't they? <laughs> I'm going to be the hero tonight. Your kids, your, your kids are going to love the cereal one. Who was, talking weren't you talking about, about the yes, cereal I one? I need to try it. The cereal one is so good. That was like one of our original... <laughs> And it's like, Compartes is nostalgia, right? Like, this bar is not <laughs> is not a Bon Appetit like thing. It's supposed to be creamy chocolate and cereal. It's decadent. It's nostalgic. It's not like that cereal. Let's see. This is the cereal bowl. Cereal bowl. Okay. So that has like Lucky Charms. Oh. Marshmallows, corn flakes, Do you and need Cheerios. Permission from them to use their cereal. No, but if I put their name on it, I would need permission. Oh my God, that's so cool. 
is magically delicious. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't, mm. Oh my God. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. So you guys go and pick the, the marshmallows out. We do. We have a, we have a lady who, That's one of our Oompa Loompas, <laughs> she's just like separating them out. And you know the new movie's coming out, right? Did you guys know that? The new Willy oh, Wonka? Oh, yeah. With, um, with Timmy. Timmy. He shells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Haven't we done enough to that poor IP? I know. Like, isn't the original the best? It's one of the my favorite movies ever. Yeah. How can you mess with the Like, there's no... I, yeah. You can't it's mess just with the original. leave the man alone. You I've know? seen the trailers, too. And like apparently, it's a musical. Really? And there are no songs in those trailers, which means... Oh. Are they cats? bad, probably? Are we having a cat's moment? Pilot, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Pilot. Why um, is there no music in there? <laughs> so, let me ask you this. When did you, growing up, did you always knew that you were destined to be a chocolatier because of your family? I, you know, I love chocolate, and I love art, and I love design, and I love food. So, like, this allows me to have fun. I think of, like, almost art. We do all these, like, drops and new boxes, and it's always, like... <laughs> I guess I get to continue to do new things like the Zodiac one, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, I just, I'm always thinking like, what can I do next? Mm -hmm. And it allows me to be creative and have freedom to do what I want. So it's, mm -hmm. it's almost like, I feel like I'm an artist, but I'm a chocolatier mm -hmm. at the same time. Right. And, but yeah, I love chocolate. Like, who, yeah. That's the other thing. Who doesn't love chocolate? I do. Dan, Dan apparently, he was literally just hate, saying, I hate chocolate. I didn't. He's putting Dan hates birthdays too. He hates birthdays. Dan hates he hates he chocolate. I mean, that one's kind of true, but he hates capitalism. I've been eating. I've been eating all the chocolate, man. I'm eating the chocolate. What? No, did, I like chocolate. Did anyone else try? Did you guys try the orange slices or orange peels there? Dude, I, did. I did not. I don't think I could. Ugh, bro, I loved it. I'm, I just feel. I think I just ate like 20 chocolates. <laughs> you know, I will say, I'm in the minority here where I don't like chocolate peanut butter, but those peanut butter cups. So fucking. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. Zach, I love your reactions. I love your passion. I love food, man. What can I say? <laughs> oh, it, what's, what's your hat? What hat is that? It's a Rolex hat. It's such a cool hat. Oh, okay. Where'd you get that? Why do you wear that? <laughs> I'm in the club, dude. He's a Rolex guy now. You so, are? I didn't know. I just, I never, I just didn't know to connect you and Rolex. Yeah. Until I, I saw I you mean, in the hat. I don't, I don't know. It's <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. crazy you yeah. Know? It's a really crazy thing. Yeah. yeah. He has a Rolex. Does he? Yeah. yeah. That is baller. Yeah. 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 You can't see it on his wrist. It's <laughs> Tell us head. about it, Zach. What well, model is it? A, uh, Submariner in date. Uh, 2015 is the year it was made. 40 millimeter stainless steel. <sighs> I should make like a chocolate watch. <laughs> a chocolate watch? That you that could wear. Be that. Wouldn't that be cool? I'd wear that. Right? Yeah, you'd wear that. So That's a cool... <laughs> What what's the origin story? You're saying you're the third generation? Yes. So originally how was what's the story there with like uh so the matriarch or you said your great grandmother or your grandmother? Yeah, my grandma. So there was Mr. and Mrs. Comparte, so that's where the name came from comes from. French? Uh Italian. Oh Italian. Italian couple, and they never had any kids. Oh. And so when they got older, they sold it to my grandma, who was a friend of theirs. Oh. And then my family bought it and to be honest with you, it was like this small business and my family didn't want me to change anything because it was like in business for so many years and I wanted to make it cool and update it and they didn't want to spend any money. So I started designing the packaging myself because they wouldn't hire a graphic designer. <laughs> right, right, right. And I was like, okay, I'm going to learn Photoshop or even like shooting stuff for our Instagram page. I just kind of taught myself. And uh, when I was 21, I bought the company from my family. Oh, so you are Mr. Compartes. I'm the new Mr. Compartes, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, and I and I want to create like a legacy. I want to have this, like, I think Compartes should be a worldwide brand, seems a worldwide like, thing. Seems like you're on your way. You're doing good work to get there. Yeah, and yeah. I love it. I yeah. love it. So I just want to like continue. Do you dream to about chocolate? Absolutely. I have a book. Yeah, you have a dream book about yeah, chocolate? Yeah, and I write down, like, I ideas and about stuff. Chocolate. Yeah. Do you ever get chocolate ideas in your dreams? Tons of chocolate ideas. Like, and, and I'm also... chocolates. Oh, yeah. I'm also always thinking, like... Do you like, like Forrest Gump? Uh, yeah, I actually agree very much with that quote. Yeah. Don't don't you think? Like, Life yeah. was like well, unless you will. I mean, if you don't have the guide. Right, if you don't have the guide. But we put the guide in. Yes. I didn't put the guide many years ago, and people would really bitch about it. I mean... That's my one uh, hang up with C's. They don't put the guide in there. Because you don't want to get jellies by accident, right? You or, like C's candy. I like the Bordeaux at C's. Oh, what? Right? Bordeaux? That's that's good. 
Um, but I used to make a Bordeaux and I thought mine was better, but I, but it wasn't that popular. Wait, what is Bordeaux? I don't know that. Bordeaux is like a brown sugar walnut Oh, here, cream. milk Bordeaux. Oh, these look nice. They're not as good as Comparte's, but of they're, course. they're, yeah, of How course could not. they? Of course not. They couldn't hand a chocolate, they couldn't hold a chocolate candle to it. Yeah. But, but on our, on our side, I j did just put up that chess, that trunk thing. This one. Yes. And I'm also doing like a chocolate chess set. Close the trunk. Close the trunk. <laughs> you buy, you buy a certain amount of these boxes ahead of time. Yeah. And then if you sell them, you just sold out. Yeah, exactly. We also do custom chocolate. So we do like, um, I've done like chocolate for Sonic the Hedgehog, Pokemon. Uh, also, do you guys, does anyone watch like, League, I don't know if it's watched League of Legends or Arcane. There's this. I watch League of Legends all the sure. time, right? Do you watch it or play? I, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I don't. Arcane's awesome. Arcane. Yep. Can't yeah. Yeah. I did a collaboration with Arcane, which mm. was like oh, these chocolate cool. bars, and they sold out in 24 hours. We sold like 5,000 of each. Fuck. Yeah. That's and people are trading fun. them online for a hundred dollars each, and they're 9.95. What do they look like? What do they have? The Arcane characters on them? It's just like imprint. Like, uh, no, like, in. like the packaging oh, has the arcane. Packaging. Yeah, but then the flavors I did were like based on All arcane different. people. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, Zach. You can finish it. All different flavors. Yeah. All different flavors. Yes. Give me for that. arcane. Yeah. But it's crazy that people are selling them for a hundred bucks. That online. is crazy. Um, so how do you, are your parents, are they like, damn, this, uh, are they giving you that, the props now? Right? My dad gives me the props and he says he wants to get back in. He wants, he's like, he, he's like, I, I, I want to pay what you paid me. And I'm like, no, dad, <laughs> sorry. No, no, no. Uh, You're done, dad. I'm done with that. I'm, I, yeah. You don't owe, I don't owe you shit anymore, dad. Fuck you. I do owe him Thanksgiving chocolate and Christmas okay. chocolate. That's he, it. That was part of the contract. And he'd be lucky if you don't leave a bill. No, he, he, I, he, I have to bring like 20 pounds for every family event. Wait, that was in the contract? Yeah. Like, I bought the business plus- That was in the cho contract? Chocolate for life. Yeah, my dad's a smart guy. What the- Your dad is hustling you. Yeah, he is. He's always- And the chocolate- he, He's like, give me my 20 pounds. <laughs> I need gifts for my- What chocolate look like? <sighs> I mean, where's that box? That peanut butter- That huge box? Yeah. It's like that times 20. This Holy that's God. like a two pound right there. So it's like ten of those. And he just hoards them throughout the year and eats them up. Yeah, he gives it to his postman and his secretary, oh, and you know he gets social clout. Oh yeah, he goes to all the charity events that's, in Beverly that, Hills that with the smart. Compartes. That yeah, is smart. Yeah, smart. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Wow. Do you guys want to try some more? I think. What do you like? Got? Yeah. What oh, I mean, I have, we'll so, I have so much stuff. This is called. Can the anyone e eat more chocolate? Yeah, of course. Yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is I think called. The girls are ready. The, yeah, the, I'm ready. This is the everything bar, and it literally has everything. It's chocolate and all the good stuff. So it's dark milk and white chocolate. It's got potato the, chips, <laughs> that pretzels, brownies, so. cake, marshmallow. It's like a little bit of everything. I could pass oh, it that way. Was the, was uh, Yeah, you could pass it out. I, I think I'll die if I eat more. There's a s'mores bar, which is really That's cool. That's fucking nice. I like s'mores. And this has my dogs on the back, which is really... I'm, uh, my dogs might not live forever, but they'll always live on in the s'mores bar. Wait, where are your dogs in the s'mores bar? See, they're hidden. At the bottom, there's like four little, four little teddy bear, teddy, teddy looking dogs. What the hecking dog? Down here? Yeah. Like. Here, let's see. So many. Oh, down here. Uh -huh. Oh, cute. Yeah, I love dogs. them. So you have four dogs? I have four dogs. And what are, what are these called? Pomeranians? Pomeranians. You have four yeah. Pomeranians? Yeah. Yeah. And I put their pictures on a lot of stuff. Like. Like this kind of, this holiday box with the foxes really kind of like, those are my dogs on there. It's personal so to cute. me. Um, how old are they? I have a 17 year old dog, which is really old. Yeah. That's lucky. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and then like. Not to bring the vibes down, but my best friend, my dog died recently. He was only five. Really? Yeah. I just wanted to bring the mood down a little bit. Yeah. Well, have a piece of chocolate and that makes sense. Of him. Is that, is. Yeah, he's my best bud. We could put his face on a chocolate too. That'd be fun. That's what I always say. Yeah, we can like, honor him. I know my dogs won't live forever. Do you bring your dogs to work? No, you're not allowed by health department. Oh, though. you can't. Hell no. That's, you can't oh, have oh. and and dogs can't eat chocolate. Yeah, that's a that's a that's like a thing. Like oh. when I go home, I wash, I scrub my nails to make sure that like there's not any chocolate. You know, I don't want I've a dog. Heard dog. that chocolate 
while bad for dogs, the danger is over exaggerated a bit. One of my dogs uh, accidentally ate a crunch bar and I, oh, I was so bar? pissed. Yeah. And they're I, small. They're small. But you know why I was pissed? Because it didn't eat Compartes. Oh. I was so mad. I'm like, Where if my dog. access to that? Low my brother had a crunch bar in his pocket. Your fucking brother? I know. I was like, why is my brother cheating on me, first of all, with a crunch bar? But second of all, like, if my dog's going to eat any chocolate, so your dog it should be fine. compart. Yeah, it, the dog had to have the stomach pumped. But right. I was really, I was really it's pissed because it wasn't compartes. Do you don't pass out compartes on Halloween? You know, if people would come to my door, I would love to. You don't get trick or treaters. Yeah, I don't get trick or treaters. I mean, LA is like kind of. You have to go to the right anymore. neighborhood. Yeah. To find them. That's what Zach says. What? Zach has been talking about how LA isn't like Halloween y anymore. Yeah, dude. I, it really isn't. Yeah. And I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big city. You got to, you know what I mean? You got to go where the people are. But I. What I always say. I thought the people were in LA. Yeah. They I'd are? be so happy if I was a kid and I got one of these at the oh my trick or treat, oh, right? Oh shit, that like, would be insane. A Rice Krispie treat filled bar or oh, like yeah. a cookie butter Ooh. one, right? Like, so what does your brother do? Uh, my brother is a trainer, a personal trainer. Okay. Yeah. And so you guys are kind of at odds a little bit there, it sounds like. You guys are like competing forces in the world. Oh no, that's well, a good racket. He's, you like, he's creating uh, clients for his brother. Yeah. That's true. That's yeah. actually a really good point. Uh, it's the funnel. Well, I, I, that's true. I have a vegan organic chocolate line that my brother like co-signs. Okay. Not like his name's not on the packaging or anything. Heaven, but he, no. Heaven, no. Yeah, no. Vegan. He couldn't, he couldn't afford to buy it. <laughs> well, he, he, he told me I should make a protein one and I do have one with protein oh, in it. That's kind of a good idea. Yeah. And he does, he's, he's always like, oh, where's my percent of the protein one? And I'm like, Jordan, you know. Chill. Do your, do your, Chill. I'll do your send you some training line. business. Yeah. I'll take care of the chocolate. But the vegan ones, the vegan line uh, that we have is really delicious. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also like our least best seller because people want donut bars You're and right. cereal bars. They don't want it's vegan It's like chocolate. getting, you know, when you eat a hamburger, you know you're doing something unhealthy. You got to just go for it. Yeah, you have to go for it. Yeah. When we used to have our stores in LA, the biggest thing was like, People dressed in Lululemon outfits. Mm -hmm. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Do you guys know? That's the leggings, right? Yeah. Yeah. With like a donut bar in one hand and a green smoothie in the other. It's awesome. <laughs> that was like my biggest customer. Wow. So, um, well, I mean, congratulations on this amazing business that you built up. Thank you. What was the what was the trajectory of the business when you took over from your parents? Like, how long did it take you, or how much growth did you experience since that time? You know, I, um, I like have invested in the business every year, so I don't take the money out and, you know, buy a Lamborghini. I reinvest, so I'll buy packaging one year, more machinery the next year. Um, we don't have any conveyor belts either, which makes Compartes very different. Uh, everything's done by hand. Are you anti-conveyor belt? I'm so anti-conveyor belt. And why is that? Everyone thinks I'm nuts for being anti-conveyor belt. Uh, yeah. I like to make it the old fashioned way, like the way that I learned how to make it. Mm. I don't really want to update it. I get scared that if I change it, it would like the formula would be different or like the flavor if would it be works, different. Don't, don't. Yeah. It. Yeah. If it ain't broke. Don't fix it. Yeah. And I also think there's something bad, nice about doing it like the traditional way that they've been doing it for all these years. Right. I don't want a robot making compartes. But I is that what the conveyor belt means, or is it just like they eat kind of more ease of production? I don't even know what that means. Well, here I'll show you something interesting. So our bars, because they have like the real ingredients in them, they're they're really chunky. So I don't know if you could see, but they're like this has the Rice Krispie treats in it, yeah. Yeah. So I once bought a conveyor belt, and my chocolate wouldn't go through the conveyor belt because they're handmade and their thicknesses oh. vary. Oh, and so it all it got screwed up, and I took the conveyor belt out and I I you threw it in the garbage. It. Yeah. Yeah, because I couldn't. It can't do what humans can do. No, you can't. And and because they're like, yeah, because they're because they're like real. Like it doesn't understand the chunky, right? It doesn't understand this. This, this good stuff. Apparently, uh, people are apologizing to Mark. You won over vegan chat. Apparently, there's a lot of vegans who are excited. We have a, so many vegan products on our site. <laughs> yeah. Because you know why? Good dark chocolate, by the way, should be vegan. Because dark really? chocolate shouldn't have milk in it, yeah. But if you like go to the grocery huh. store, cheap dark chocolate, they add in milk and stuff to kind of water it down. Right. Uh, but 
good dark chocolate should be vegan. Like all those fruits you guys were eating, that's just fruits and dark chocolate. Or we oh. have like nuts and dark chocolate. That's so vegan. How, so how do you get that creamy? Is it just... Yeah, how do you get that creamy kind of consistent without milk or butter? Or... That is a good great... smoky flavor. Yeah. That good smoky flavor. <laughs> that good that good chocolatey. Yeah. Uh, it's the cocoa butter. So, so cocoa it, butter doesn't actually, it's not actually butter. No, it, cocoa butter is like actually the fat from the chocolate beans. So you process the beans and you probably just press them until the oils come out? Yeah, I mean, I guess cocoa butter like that people scrub on themselves is somehow related to the, the chocolate bean what? ones. Dude, um, what's the, chocolate is like miraculous. Does it fr the chocolate trip is, you out like the cocoa? Yeah, butter? it's the like food how? of the gods. It it's, is, it's so incredible. People used to use it as a currency. I'd be a really rich man. I still man. do. Yeah. In well, I, I do too. I get invited to places for <laughs> yeah. my chocolate. Um, but they also used to use it to like psychedelic stuff, right? There was like you some- You trip on cocoa? I think so. Do I don't do want to tell anything. Tell us step by step. I, I, that would be a Google thing. Endorsed There's... by Compartes. No. <laughs> um, but it, so it, here's cocoa butter. There's cocoa butter. So that's a derivative of the chocolate beans. And huh. that's what makes chocolate creamy and like, it's almost like avocado oil. It's all cocoa butter. Uh, so let's see, how to make cocoa butter. I'm gonna see that. I'm curious what's the process. Hello everyone, welcome yes. back. Today recipe, <laughs> we are going to learn how to make cocoa I'll butter. Just, I'm just gonna mute yes. it and we'll just take a look here. So she's starting with cocoa. Should make sense. I liked her voice. You do you want it back? Calming. It's actually it's lagging. Perfect. Yeah, it was very calming, right? Like cocoa mm -hmm. buttery. Okay, so we're stirring, <laughs> we're mixing, we're boiling. Uh, let's see her commentary. So after two to three hours, you are going to see that the water will reduce. The water is going to reduce. So keep stirring so that you don't burn your butter. You, so you keep stirring. So you Which is, stir it every five minutes. Okay, so the butter's the coming up to the top. The oil will start to settle on mm -hmm. top. So you can see tiny, tiny oil on top. How do they get it so white so, though? Now you can see the oil is floating How's it white? on top. Like cocoa so butter. Oh, that looks nasty. Oh, I see, it's just the fat the now. Jeez. Mm -hmm. How long you gotta cook that? <laughs> I'm happy this is not what I do. Yeah, that's a whole different vertical. It doesn't look as tasty. <laughs> that does not. No, no. <laughs> Why is it that chocolatiers don't make their own chocolate? So cho chocolate processing, like from bean to bar, is a whole other thing. Right. Because they're taking the beans and they're grinding it down and then they're mixing it with sugar. And that's how you get what we know as chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to have totally different equipment and machinery. And then you also have to roast the chocolate and there's a whole kind of process to it. Um, I think most people don't do that because of how much time it takes. Time yeah. I mean, it's like yeah. a whole nother business, but there are people that specialize in just that too. Hmm. So I think what we know as chocolate is kind of mixing all these ingredients and things together, like caramels and peanut butter and stuff like that. But there are people that do just like pure chocolate and they might get it from like your farm or then my farm. And it would taste different because we've fed our trees because it comes from a tree. Yeah. Like chocolate, they say chocolate's healthy because it grows on a tree. That's the other crazy thing about the chocolate. It's healthy. It is healthy. Our chocolate is what has like some of the most potent antioxidants of, of any food. That's why Oprah has her one piece a day of Compartes. Oh, God bless her. God bless, yeah. God bless <laughs> Oprah. I mean, that's a, I hope, yeah, yeah. She's been really supportive of Compartes. Awesome. I really appreciate, I really appreciate that, which is cool. Can you have a connection? Can I get her on the show or no? I could ask. Yeah. I could. Yeah. I'm not on her favorite things list this year because oh, you know she has her holiday. Oh. I know. But last year I was on the ultimate holiday like. Dang. So when she does that, does it drive a lot of sales to you? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. The holiday one is the one. That's the one that I, it's the favorite thing. That's what's called the favorite things. So when, when we're talking how much sales, it, how much traffic does it drive to your website in terms of like a normal day? Well. I don't know, but I know that on Friday there was a lot of traffic from H3. So oh, I can oh, say oh, that. Even, even I could say that. Guys still. Well, I don't think you said it was really good. We were I was being I was being silly. Yeah. Uh, uh I was being harsh in a silly non-serious way. I didn't I didn't take it like that at all. I thought it was really good. You loved it and I knew that I would come here today and you guys would love it. It's different than 
I think they're very different. It is very different. Yeah. It is very different. Um, but there was, a, there was a lot of traffic from H3. I think there wow. was more traffic from H3 than some of the Oprah? C- celebrity. Hey. I, I don't want to say that. I want to be on favorite things next year. Well, well compared to today. Well, I'm going to see right now because I have fa- my Shopify. You, you want to be on my favorite thing. I have my. I do want to be on your favorite Oprah's. things. Can't, can the chest be? Oh, I yeah, that was the Shopify sound. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was like, is that my? I'm just, I have it on I'm my working phone. on my own Weight Watchers and shit. I'll put uh, points on these. I'll include them. You should. You definitely. They've been in Health Magazine, the chocolate. Really? Yeah. Yeah, for being low cal. You were talking about the calories, right? Is it really right? low calorie? For chocolate. I mean, that's not going to be low calorie because that's crazy. a. Yeah, that's it's cer- filled that's with cereal. 500 calories almost. Yeah. But, but I mean, it's a bar of chocolate. What do you want? But chocolate has healthy calories like avocado. Avocado has a lot of calories, but it's from the fat. It's from the cocoa butter. So if you're looking to healthily consume chocolate, you want to be eating dark chocolate, right? Yes. The the LA Times says you should eat four ounces of dark chocolate a day. Four ounces? How much is that? That's like uh, a bar. A, a full chocolate bar? A full chocolate bar, yeah. Dude, they're crazy. <laughs> yeah. That, you? Huh? Did you write that? No, I didn't. I didn't. From like Sponsored by Compartes. Yeah. That's crazy. A that's, full bar? That's a lot that's of chocolate. Not. But that's like telling them pure, that's pure dark chocolate, right? Yes. Without all the extra stuff that's less healthy. Like caramel has the sugar and stuff like that. Yeah. The peanut butter. Um, you hear that, guys? A whole ass bar of chocolate. And the and you know what's cool about the bars, though, honestly, is because like $9.95 for a chocolate bar some people might think that's more than like a grocery store but it's also like very it's like a luxury that everyone can get right it's like you don't have to spend 80 dollars on a box of chocolate you could get a bar for a friend or two you could bring it to their house yeah for dinner 10 bucks is not bad i got a message from the devil we're behind but if my little jay peterson is skull night mura is getting extra punishment is that a is that a Lee reference? What was what? It says <laughs> Jay Jay Peterson is Skull Knight. Oh, is that? I need Dan here to explain that. He needs to decode that shit for me. Oh, bring out a feastable. You know about Mr. Beast? I've I've never tried it. Yes! Are you gonna make me try it? Yes. <laughs> I knew that would happen. I said this morning they're gonna make me try Mr. Beast. Now, now hold on. What? Give him the no no no. Not that one. Give him the original. Oh, it's only one. I'll see. Wait, I I did see this in the grocery store the other day. It's cheap. It's like two bucks. Yeah, it's. What do you think about how's that? How can they make a bar of chocolate and still profit in a meaningful way if it's two dollars? You know what I'm gonna? I've like never seen. I've I've seen it, but I've never picked it up because that's something about me is I don't like to taste other people's stuff. I like to just like. Really? I love my. Uh, I, you I like. To, you don't get inspired by other chocolatiers? Not at creations? all. I don't like to look Fuck at them. what anyone's doing. Yeah. I stay in my lane. I do what I want, and that's it. Oh, I, we have two. Okay. Let's try the original one. And you know what? I'm looking on the back to see what's in it. Go because ahead. a lot of times when you get chocolate at the grocery store, it has a bunch of shit in it. Sure. Interestingly, this doesn't have a lot of shit in it. So that's kind of, I think that's Mr. one of Beast. the main appeals is the simplicity of the ingredients. And what doesn't is- he give away like all kinds of prizes? Yeah, and- yeah that's the beast. He's a saint. He's it's big. hard to open. Hard to open? Right? It's not as easy. Compartes has That's a bad. nice foldable, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. yeah. So, and be be brutally honest. We have no allegiances. <laughs> Can I smell it too? Absolutely. Like, Take your time. When you want Feel the it. cocoa, you have to like yeah, smell yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Do the whole experience. Take your time. Share and devour. Okay. This is really. Go ahead. He's chewing. He looks like <laughs> amused. Uh, What's your experience like? Mm. I think it's boring. Right. Mm. It's um, two bucks, though. It tastes like it's two bucks to me. Yeah, it tastes like a $2 It doesn't bar. taste special at all. And it tastes like yourself. a Hershey Why bar. Why buy a $2 bar? It's yeah. better than that. I mean, why buy this? Special? You could, yeah. buy, you could buy a Hershey's. There's not really... Oh, you think Hershey's is better? I, I'm not, I, yeah, I like her Hershey's Kiss. I think this tastes oh, yeah. like a Hershey's Kiss. Okay. Like, I also like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Mm-hmm. I like, I love Kit Kat. 
This doesn't taste, yeah, Kit Kat is so good. This doesn't taste very special to me. So on a Not to scale of one to kiss. 10, 10 being Compartes, obviously. Compartes chocolate box. I would give this like a three to four. Oh, there it is. From Chocolatier's mouth to God's ear. Yeah, universe. it's just kind of a bit meh. And I would expect something better I from find, Mr. Beast. I find, me too. Well, have you heard of Beast Burger? I've heard about what happened with Beast Burger. So. Yeah. But I find it to be like too sweet. It's almost like they overcompensate with sugar. There's also nothing left in my mouth. And one thing about chocolate that they talk about is called mouthfeel, mm. which is that cocoa butter. So the mouthfeel is so important. Yeah. This mouthfeel is kind of like non-existent. Waxy. Yeah. Boring. It's Vile. gone away. Vile. Fucking well. fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> Um, like I have I, noticed that sometimes when I eat chocolate, it's like it it melds with my mouth so perfectly in the texture. And then sometimes when you eat when I eat chocolate, it like it's almost like oil and oil and uh, water. It's like there's not there's not mixing. It feels waxy and it, the texture is not good. It also forces you to eat more of it because you're not satiated. Hmm. But like with good chocolate. It stays in your mouth for a longer time, so and I, then what's you. What's the like, difference in terms of? I mean, juice? like I'm gonna just try my own Compartes peanut butter. Go ahead. Bar. But also, like I'm just gonna look at the shininess too and the color. Oh, I don't think you could see, but they they even look different. The two milk chocolates. Do, are you totally different. chocolated out? I'm fucked up right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm absolutely fucked up. I taste totally different. So Did wait, you as it when you're making the chocolate, how do you? Mm affect that mouthfeel texture. It's the quality of the ingredients. Just quality. Thousand percent. I see. It's like probably a pizza from Pizza Hut versus like a high-end pizzeria. They're using okay. better tomatoes, better cheese, better dough maybe. Better ingredients. Better ingredients. I mean, that's really what probably it is, done. what it comes down to. At the end of the day, every probably chocolate company else. is just a chef mixing ingredients together, mixing this and that. So it's like you just, if you use the best ingredients, mm -hmm. hopefully you'll have the best product. There it is. Pizza is actually very nutritious. I don't know if you know that. You I like the, pizza. You could say the same thing. I did chocolate. a pizza bar once. Oh, what was it like? Mm -hmm. A pizza flavors or did it just shaped like a pizza? No, it was pizza flavored. It was white chocolate and had caramelized pizza crust and olive oil. And I had like sun dried tomatoes and basil on it. Oh, whatever happened. I wanted to ask you about the cheese and the Velveeta. Yeah, was that was that a disaster? If if you pull it up, you can yeah, see. it's see. like all over the internet. Yeah, it, let me see. It, it me broke see. the internet. So people we were it. not liking it. Some people liked it. Some people didn't. Um How do you spell Velveeta? I mean it was filled with Velveeta. So it was like if you like Velveeta, you would like it. Velveeta. Oh yeah, you you can see the photo, right? It's like I made it the shape of a pasta, Wait. and that sold out in like two days too. It was it like crazy. Yeah, on, the, uh, on their website. Oh, you linked it. Yeah. Let me see. Let's see here. There it is. Oh, that's nice. that's from our Instagram. Oh yeah, it sold out on the website. There it is. The people have spoken. Click on that second one. Oh, that looks pretty vile, but it's not your fault, obviously. Did I think you it's like it? I thought it was interesting. It was like white chocolate and Velveeta. So your fault. I, I yeah, but it was cool. It is cool. I see. I mean, people like the novelty stuff. I see that in my business too. Whenever we do kind of novelty products, people love it. And also, it's like the drop, right? It's like yeah. people want something new and different, and they taste something from Compartes that's limited edition, and then they come. Oh yeah, that's our. Let's let's see about. Okay, did you write this? No, I did okay, not. No. Our <laughs> marketing. You know what it says? Uh, I, I'm the not sure. Read this. I see my name there, so I'm probably not for a while. <laughs> I don't like reading about. I'm gonna myself. read it. I'm gonna read it too. Step into the extraordinary world of Compartes, <laughs> the avant-garde destination for chocolate innovation and creativity, where every delectable bite transforms you to an. There's a ton of glare to an artful wonderland, with a legacy spanning back to the 1950s and a contemporary. Revival led by visionary chocolatier Jonathan Graham. <laughs> uh huh. You didn't write that. I didn't write that part. Yeah. 
I'm not going to read it. Not that it's not true. I, it seems like you are a visionary. I like what I do, and I've been doing it for 25 years. I really love it. I'm obsessed with chocolate. It seems like they did a nice little write-up for you guys, though. You know, There's those peanut butter cups. Our imagery is really good, too, I Beautiful. think. Our imagery is, like, really important. Um, so there it is. Mm-hmm. Two, three, Do we... We passed the taste test today. Would you consider doing a collaboration, something like this? This is a candle I made last year or a few years ago. Do you know what's funny? What? Uh, they asked me to do one that's similar to that. The Gwyneth Paltrow one? The Gwyneth Paltrow it one. my inspiration. You know the but one? Hers, I'll tell you this. Hers smelled like flowers. And I guess that was the point. Mm -hmm. Mine smells like ass. And that is something that she dared not not do. do you guys have one here to smell? Do we have one? Dude, they're, they were they were so, they're all gone. so good. Really? People were clamoring for smells like my butthole candle. I don't know how that would translate as a chocolate flavor, though. Well, let's try it. I mean, you did Velveeta. Why not butthole? <laughs> butthole chocolate? Uh, yeah, I didn't do the Gwyneth Paltrow one. You said no. I said no. Because I thought it would offend people a bit. I mean, th but... That's fair. Gina. It's a private, you know, it's a private part. Yeah. Gina. Yeah, what was what's hers called? Uh, vagina smells like my smell. vagina. So would it be this taste like? I think that's what it's. It, mine was supposed uh, to be. Like, oh the, my God. Yeah, I mean we <laughs> got really. Wow. That is quite a that jump. Is, yeah, we got really far. We got wow. almost to the end with it, and then we didn't end up making it. What were so, the flavors? Oh, so sorry. I don't remember what that was supposed to taste like, but there was definitely flavor. I don't remember. I think I blocked it out, but there there was supposed to be something. Something with rose. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at one that smells like, it tastes like, you know, the space between your balls and asshole after a long day of walking. <laughs> Gooch. Gooch. If we can capture that in chocolate form, I think it's Jamie it. Gooch. That would sell out really fast. We'd sell thousands in a day on the drop. <laughs> it tastes like my butthole. It, it has a nice... And for some, some people do like to eat ass. It is kind of a phenomenon that's happening today. So, like, maybe it tastes like my... Showered and freshly cleaned butthole. So it's mm. appetizing still. To some. Not right. all. Right, right, but right. to some. I think when it comes to taste, it's a very interesting... I think a smell is, like, easier than taste, maybe. Right? Smell is easier than taste. Like, right. I think Tasting it's easier it to... Intense. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 I, I know what you mean. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I'm just trying well, to think just, about know, that, I, and I'm like, oh. I'm an ideas man. I'm just, you know, sharing, I share do, these with do you, you guys, freely. What about the Teddy Fresh logo? Because, you know, something we do a lot is custom chocolate. Like, we put logos on them. So we do, like, a lot of different brands. What does the Teddy Fresh logo look like? It's just, a, it's like it's a like teddy, teddy bear, bear silhouette. Yeah. Here, I'll show you. Because we could put logos on the chocolate. Like, that would be cool. With so different color of. Flabo? Yeah, different color Teddy Fresh we oh. do Nike chocolates. We do. <laughs> James Charles is number one for Teddy Fresh. Teddy Fresh logo. It's this, basically, this, you know, silhouette. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do that on the chocolate. Nice. Just like we printed the colors on there. Fun. Yeah, we do a lot like that. I don't know that it could taste like. I'd rather put a teddy bear on it than make it taste like a butthole. Well, if we're collabing, we kind of got to put a pull. Got to do both. <laughs> got to do both. <laughs> not much of a collab if you're not taking my input. That's true. I will take your input. <laughs> By the way, Dan, were we able to contact the candle guy to get more for the holidays? Uh, no, it, it wasn't enough time. But but do you have his contact? Yeah, yeah. But I want to order more. Okay. We need more. Okay. I still haven't smelled it. I, I, I think, I personally think it's a year-round gift. Yeah. 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 Uh, it could, I mean, there's no season for that, yeah, right? It's always in <laughs> always season. A good time. Yeah. <laughs> Butthole is always in season. Well, that's uh, fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you for having me. Chocolate here. And part, uh, compartes. People are asking for a code. I don't know if you want yeah, to. Yeah, I would love to do a code. Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to. What hold, kind of can discount I just are we activate talking about? it right now on my phone? Sure. What kind of discount are we talking? 15% off. 15? That's the best on the internet. <laughs> well, that's the best. That's well, better than like Rakuten. 15? 15. You, you've got a <laughs> tighter margin than that. 15. Come on. They're handmade for our chocolate people? bars. <laughs> Let me, it'll be a surprise code. H3 loves Compartes. Can let's that be do, the code? Let's do 30. <laughs> That's pushing it. I listen, 30, I 30 goes out of business. At all.
Let me see. Three, Wait, oh, but I look just, at. I'm just advocating for my fans. Three o, oh, three o. Oh. oh, how can you? Oh, there's just the people on your site. Yeah. That's awesome. They're three, shopping. Oh, 620 people. Hi, H3. And how many do you usually have just in the middle of a, a normal Like Monday? 50. 50? Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. And I'm seeing a lot of orders coming. What, do you, 50. Okay, well then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm putting the discount. Hold 30%. on. I'm, I'm going to activate it right now. 30%. Can we, can we just... Three, do you guys oh, want to try this? Wait, hold on. While what, I activate? What's the discount? I'm going to activate Three oh. You're the owner. You've been on and on about how you're the sole owner, and you can't get my people up. I'm definitely hooking your people up. Thirty percent, man. Twenty-five. No. Thirty. Not thirty. Thirty. I feel like I'm at Fuck a family you. dinner. You know, I'm advocating for my people. Thirty. That's that's my job here. I don't benefit from this. You know what I mean? You're. You... What's your margin? If you do thirty, is that like that's your margin? Yeah. That's it's killing, killing you. Killing what does that mean that you're what does it mean it's killing you are you losing money at 30 yeah probably Yo, i don't daddy, i don't play with spreadsheets do you i know just, what do you know what your margin is no i just know you have a business person who calculates all that shit like a accountant or something i have an accountant who sends me stuff at the end of they, but, the, but not, i just do what like i like that. yeah as long as i could live and you be know happy. that the money is positive yes most most of the time in the summer it's hard Really? Because, people like, don't people don't buy chocolate in the summer. No. Why? Because it will melt. And That's and they're true. not thinking. Chocolate is like a gift, right? So now we're in gifting season. But in the summer, you're buying ice cream or you're, like, wanting lighter things. And That's really so true. Them. I hate when the chocolate melts in the summer. It's like. We do man. have a no-melt guarantee, even in the summer. <laughs> okay, on hold side. on. Let's do. I'm I'm trying to put this discount. A thousand visitors right now. I'm well, they're, they're waiting for the they're 30. waiting for the discount. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying. I'm on the spot, and now I press. I don't even know how to turn it on hold on, on my phone. Hold on. Can I call my office and ask them to make the discount? Thirty. Whatever you need to do. Yeah, to get the discount on. Hold on. I want I want the best for my folks <laughs> out there. I, I always advocate for them. People are going. Don't push. Listen, I get nothing. I'm I'm here for you guys. <laughs> People are like, fifteen is great. This guy's about to sell a whole lot of chocolate. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to make the discount on my phone. Here we go. Select discount type. Here we go. Okay. Tell me the numbers okay. you're typing. Okay. <laughs> you type that? It doesn't allow me to do thirty, but let's see what it allows Three. me to do. Oh really? Yeah. Are your what Three program are you using? Shopify. <laughs> I'm. Uh... My business is on Shopify too. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Three, oh. <laughs> I also want to do a giveaway. We have a chocolate of the month club. Oh, fun. And I was thinking to give away one year. A year's worth? Whoa. One year. One, like what your dad gets. Yeah, like my dad. <laughs> but he gets it forever. I would have one Just year. One year. One year um, and I'm not a big Instagram, per, but I know that we have our, our Compartes Instagram, at Compartes. So I will do the same thing. I'll put up my post. Or whatever. We're today's gonna need post. a thirty percent discount, yeah. <laughs> or, or I'm gonna cut this whole part. <laughs> the whole thing is being cut out for the people. People are commenting. You know what they're saying? Fifteen is fine. Don't listen to Ethan. I uh, swear to God. Okay. First of all, I don't know how many people Who are, are you partes in the chat room, <laughs> but I do know you have thirty or something employees. Three. <laughs> Fif oh. What are you typing? I'm putting I'm putting H three love compart H three loves compartes yeah. as the discount code. Yeah. Which is true. The number is... 20%. That's I've never done that. Ever. Ever. 25. Oh, 25. No, I can't do 25. 25. It's 20 like... That is so amazing. Okay, Thank okay, okay. So 20, 22. 25. It was 15. 20. You've got me to 20. Oh, my God. People said... Somebody just said 18. It's like... Um, no, no, don't listen to them. What's, me it's like an auction, negotiated. right? It's one of those auctions. 21. 21. Give me that one day. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll close 20 it. 20 is the big... 20, and it's going to be this week only. 21. Till Friday. Okay? 21. 21. I, I, 21. I'm cutting it. I'll cut it out. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Hold on. How do, I don't know how to do it. You see, I'm getting so nervous. Yeah, I'm going to fuck understand. up the discount code. We're going to fucking ruin <laughs> can we? Can we eat some more chalk? Can we, like, or why don't... Look <laughs> at this... Ad these people are going to be like, we're losing money. <laughs> My employees are all going to revolt. This advent calendar is almost sold out, That's too, fun. by the way. Like, can cool. I just show this? Yeah, because, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. This is so cool. If you Google advent calendars, we're on the top of every roundup because of this amazing... <laughs> that is gorgeous. And do you it's, design all these yourself? Like, yes. That's incredible. I, lo I love it. That is yeah. really impressive.
Look at how. What's I mean, inside? can you open one? Yeah. Do you want to open? One? Sure. I'm Jewish, so I don't really. I, I am too, but yeah. I just. But we we love our Christian brothers and sisters. We do, and especially the ones that buy ad They spend money. <laughs> yeah. But like, so you push the little thing. No spoilers. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh. That is honey lavender. Oh shit, that sounds good. You seem kind of iffy on that. Because yeah, I thought, what if you don't like lavender? Because you don't like jelly. I don't mm. like jelly either. But I uh, I like lavender. I love lavender. Okay, let's see. My body says don't eat it, but my but I do want to, so I'm going to. Hmm. It's also lavender color. Uh huh. Hmm. I love lavender. This is the whole theme. Super good. The whole theme of that collection is like a garden. So every flavor has different kind Herby, of like floral. Herbaceous. Yeah. All different. <laughs> All right, 21. Yeah, I'm putting it in. Two, one. <laughs> 21. It's Fuck 1%. You. 21. We you got it. it. 21. It's it's like a hard but let's and let's and find our Instagram button. too and our TikTok. Sales day ever maybe. I want to see if we beat Oprah. I also did a Kendall Jenner collaboration. I want to see what's the sales. H3 versus Kendall Jenner. Let's see who. Yeah. We Most need to take Kendall Listen, Jenner down. Listen, we don't down. Trash. We don't need to <laughs> amplify. Um, yes, um, we do. We're going to win. Listen, yeah. I, I know we're going to win. Trust me. Those, these people are no, they're nobodies. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Kendall yeah. and Oprah are literally <laughs> old news. Posers. H3 is the future. Save discount. Oh, all birds just like, okay, okay. We get it with the cauliflower crust and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know she's eating compartes. Give me a break. I know she ain't eating no cauliflower chocolates. <laughs> and okay. to be clear, not a joke about her weight. I just want to make that clear. Oh, I didn't even oh. put that oh, together. I, I just want to put, I just want to put that out there. Yeah, yeah. We're, I'm not joking about her weight. Just that it's good. And cauliflower pizza is not. Right. Thank you. Cauliflower pizza. That doesn't sound very good. That's her whole thing. Oh, really? That's the whole Weight Watchers. Show. And compartes for dessert. Okay. A little give and take. Discount created. 21%? 21%, <laughs> baby. Yeah. 21. What is the code? Tell them. The code is H3 loves compartes. Nice. 21. Pretty Fuck. wordy. Maybe just H3. I like that they love compartes. They, okay, you we put love words compartes, in their mouth, right? though. I mean, they don't know yet. But I, love Sam it. loves compartes. Love that's, that's true. That's true. And, and Ethan loves I compartes. Love compartes. Yeah. I love compartes. I love compartes. So, um, well, well, this is great. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. People are stoked on the 21%. I advocating for you guys always. H3 and loves thank compartes. thank you for that nice deal for the fans. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Let us know. Buy all your Christmas stuff now because it sells out. Well, wait till our sale. Then buy it then. <laughs> yeah, well, spend half your money or 25% on Compartes. And 25, then, yeah. 15, mm. 21. 21. Yeah, <laughs> 21%. Yeah, Thank don't, you. Don't spend all your money, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. So fun. Thank you. Thank, thank you for thank bringing you. so many. Yes, yes. The chocolate stays, people. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That was a great time. And, uh, Throw that shit out. He'd taken the beast stuff and he's he just slam dunked it into the garbage. Dude, Jonathan just said Kobe and slam dunked Mr. Beast chocolate on the ground. Hell yeah. Wow. Spit on Spit it. Spit on it, yeah. Yeah, I saw that too. I, I listen, it's not the best chocolate, but I he's taking it too far. Dude, don't stomp on it like that. Chill. Jeez. Hey, don't stomp on it. Beast does a lot of good things. Alright, can somebody can somebody get him out of here? He just built a bunch of wells, man. Have to All get right. some violence. It's what not. It's, I get it. The chocolate's not that good, but you don't have to fucking like suplex it, dude. Why are you taking your pants down? Oh, don't shit on the chocolate. You don't have to. Oh, do that. dude, oh, that, that is fun. too far. Ugh. That is fucking. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, that was great. Wow, there's so much chocolate. Oh my gosh. Good. Do you guys have some floating out there, or is this everything? Uh. Bunch of chocolate, I'm chocolate curious. floating around everywhere. I can't eat any more chocolate. I'm man. so. I'm curious where all those uh, caramel freaking salt chocolates went. I need more of those. Oh, you were about those salt chocolates. I those love good. salt caramel. Yeah. Oh, I'm Wait, with you. 
I don't know if I had one of those. No, you did. You did. The little it was turtle. Like one of the very first ones. Oh, the turtle. Yeah, the t- yeah. Where's the turtles turtle. at, dude? Dude, I'm gonna die. I don't think I can eat more chocolate ever. <laughs> My body feels like it's too much. It's too much. They're they're floating around somewhere. They're floating. We got to divvy all this up. There it is, guys. It's a chocolatey season. If there's any other chocolatiers that want to come bring us chocolate. Yo, Oprah, she puts anyone, or no, not that they're not worthy, but like how many people are on this O list? The O list is getting pretty long. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. oh, this list is long, more like. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> People can't decide. They love, they love, uh, and brothers, they love compartes. It's, and it's, sons. <laughs> compartes, and what did I say? And, and brothers. brothers. And kind of works too. They are but brothers. It's and sons. Right. And bros. Oh, hell yeah, brother. So, if you guys want to criticize me for being a capitalist, I just got you all 21% discount. Don't ever say, and I bought. You know what that was? For you guys. That was, that was a little taste. Of Ethan Klein, the union leader. <laughs> That's it. I'm advocating right. for worker rights. We demand 21% discounted yeah. you chocolate. You stepped into the role gracefully. Mm-hmm. You stepped up to the plate. Mm-hmm. You did budge in the end, but that's part of the 21. tactic, right? You really hammered over at 30. Over ass. Right. And then you meet at a reasonable place. Yep. 21. This, this is what I've learned from my time in the trade uh, union. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We should make an H three list. Someone said that's true. Fuck Oprah, bro, we're the movers. We move shit. I've already started making. We moves. should be product, paying though. us. I yeah. bought our domain already. I'm start. I started. What is it? What is it? Yeah, Ethan's fave things. Is Ethan's domain. favorite What's things. What's Oprah's Olas website URL? Uh, we should well, parody that. It's too late now. <laughs> well, we, well, it? Let's see. Oprah you should bottom saying that. Oprah's O list. It's actually not a bad idea. We should make our own O list. Oh, it's just a sub sub page on uh, Oprah, Oprah Daily, Daily O list. Check in oh. for your Should we put it on Ryan Kavanaugh? The O <laughs> yeah, list. <laughs> Go to uh, does Har- Har- does Ryan- Harvey Weinstein look like oh. RyanKavanaugh.com slash O list E list? Oh yeah. my. Okay, that's better. No, I'm kidding. We should should we put it there? Because I, I think oh. it could actually be a legit project. I oh. could set it up with like tracking links and all that stuff, and we could probably actually do a good thing. We need. Yeah, let's do yours. What was yours? Uh, Ethan's fave things. Favorite was taken already. So maybe Ethan's a fave already. things, my friend. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> By next year, we'll be a juggernaut. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that was fun. Oh, man. I oh. wish um, another popular um, YouTuber had called in the middle of that, though. That would have been cool. Hmm. Just to kind of like. He got too much. Attention. I had to. He needed to sit there. <laughs> well, I mean, it like that. It was just like with the last guy, it, that was such a twist. Yeah. To go from talking about chocolate to having Minecraft speedrun uh, world record holder dream Next call time. in. Next time. Yeah. We'll be ready. Do we have any uh, sexual degenerates calling in after? Like, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> right. C-Man? The E list, baby. It's happening. The E list. So um, mm. we talked about Brett Cooper. We, talk- we got to talk about uh, Jimmy, and we also... Bored Apes one? Yeah, I mean, that's a great story. That one's fucking real good. Hold it. Hold it. So the Jimmy Lee documentary is out, and people are shedding tears. In fact, Sam and Olivia both admitted uh, to crying. She didn't I, just admit. I didn't even Olivia hear Olivia cried right here this morning. I look over at her, I'm like, what's wrong with you? She goes... So beautiful. I literally I couldn't <laughs> keep it in. Like there was I was watching it and you know when your body just like can't be quiet. Like everybody's doing their little their little tasks in the morning and I just went like <laughs> and like was crying because it was just so beautiful. I just wasn't expecting it. it. I think the filmmaker did an incredible Alex did an incredible job. So I don't know anything about this guy, Alex Novell, but this was a really good, well put together mm-hmm. project. Mm-hmm. It was really nice. I frankly, I wanted more. I mean, it's an hour of 16. I I'd wanted like more two. Jimmy. Mm-hmm. 
but it's so interesting to see him like in his natural habitat. Like, look how normal he looks when he's doing teeth. <laughs> poor, poor, no, poor. Come on, this is a tongue and cheek job. Mm. He does well, get a little intro. No, Chris, no. Listen. Work with me. Work with me, he says to the to the Wait. tooth. That's <laughs> so funny. Work with me. Wait, hold on. It gets, it gets better. It gets better. See, I always say work with me, Chris, but the hookers are different. They say jerk with me. It's a whole different Jimmy, that experience. is so inappropriate while someone yeah. is, like, trapped in your chair. Is he just doing this because... The yeah. camera's on him? It has to be, right? He has repeatedly emphasized to us that he keeps it separate from, like, he's serious when he's doing the dentistry. Well, so there was one shot of him being, like, a normal dentist. Here, this this stuff's great. It's gonna be a while, though, because I have to do the front desk now. There's nobody here, so I'm doing this. So we get delayed another five. Why is every dentist's office look they the look same? Exactly the what same. What is going on here? Why? Well, is this the best way we've learned to do this? Since like 1980, this is what we've got. Yeah. Okay. It's computers. A, we have computers now. It's a nightmare. A lot of these old offices, if they started that way, it's so hard to transfer everything. My uncle bought an office and he had to keep these, he hated these files. <laughs> and like transferring them took like a team of so many people and it took like six months. I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's true, I guess. Yeah. And Jimmy's been around. He's like old. All of that. Right. He's old school. I, I, yeah, I keep physical guy. files. It's old school. Work with me. Five minutes now. Because have to do her claim, like you, you, you can on people, and you give all the love. This man can prescribe medicine. Let mm -hmm. that sink in. Yikes. <laughs> of in the years, and now you're 60, you're close to 60, and somebody shoves it right <laughs> Jimmy, up. Jimmy, stop. He goes, now I'm close to 60. <laughs> Come on, Jimbo. Keister. So here, look how professional. They like that. They like that. <laughs> He must be a good dentist. I mean, he's been very no, no, successful. Mm -hmm. They suck. Poor, poor, no, poor. Come on, this is a tongue and cheek job. And then it gets inappropriate here. No, Chris, no. Kind of goes off the rails. Uh, work with me. I mean, I think I'd trust them more than anybody for a root canal or some shit. You would? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd trust them. Like, well, if I needed some what? serious dental work, I, I think I'd Wait, go to them. Not, not that I don't believe in him, but based on what? He's been doing it for fucking what forty years. Yeah, he yeah, and I, I trust him. You, know? <laughs> you said what? <laughs> I don't trust his comedy, but I, I trust his dentistry. Well, that would actually be fun to do a segment if anyone needs teeth work to send him out there and record it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> My tooth just cracked <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, where? Which tooth? My all the way in the back. It just I woke up. And I was oh eating, shit! I was eating pancakes, the softest thing ever. But pancakes. Yeah, and I noticed something crunchy was in there, and I was like, "Oh no! Oh shit! Part of my tooth is missing." Yeah. So, is that something that you need to fix? Yeah, I've I've had it fixed a few times, but it keeps just cracking. They put like a half fake tooth all the way in back. Let's but. see if Jimmy can help. Would you fly out to New <laughs> Jersey? Fly out to Jersey. I mean, I'll pay uh, for the flight. Yeah, I'd do it if Ian goes with me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen a dentist in 10 years. Mm, okay, that's a pretty long time. Why am I why am I getting roped into this? <laughs> Probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah, to check yeah, up. Yeah. I, just, I don't want to say anything. I, just wanted, is, I, just thought it was, I had fun with you, Ian, when, I went, when we did the crypto thing. So spent some time with you. Ian's a good asset. <laughs> I think we oh? together. Oh? <laughs> you want to bring who with you? <laughs> but it sounded like maybe Cam should go if he hasn't been to the dentist. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's a good narrative. Cam's first dentist visit in ten years. With oh my god! Oh, kind of got a good. Wait, that would be really to good. He's gonna Tim Watley your ass, Cam. Oh, I, I already know that, but Cam, I mean, you up in... for a visit to New Jersey? Sure, I love the East Coast. Yeah, you probably because well, if, if uh, you Ian can goes stop with by me. home real quick too, can Ian come with me? Ian, you've got to go. Sorry, bro. Everyone, uh oh, Ian doesn't want to go. He's nervous. He's like, oh, oh no. Thank you for telling. I know how to feel, and that's yeah, comforting. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, but actually, one of the more interesting parts too was his uh, orbiters. These, there's two people in general that like work with him pro bono, really closely, <laughs> and uh, they're real interesting characters too. <laughs> See, I always say work with me, Chris, but the hookers are different. They say jerk with me. It's a whole different experience with them. You gotta be legacy on the people. And he did a reaction video. 
and then I contacted them. Okay, and they this is he not enough, pal. Oh, come you, on. I, Let's watch the H3 part. It's about me. I know, it is about you. you All right, now come this way. I have Joey, to say thanks to on. H3 and Ethan because I don't think I would be where I'm at without him. Jimmy Lee has a special, he's... Why did that happen? It just closed it for no reason. <laughs> That's it. That's the doc. Wrap it up, people. <laughs> See ya, everybody. Ugh. So Andrew should be here soon, and I'm Andrew. Sure. Go. Wait. So where is this? <laughs> oh, hold on. Then the dentist. Oh, his brother. Uh, this is the part that got it. I'll see more. My mom's brain to make people no. lame. The the brother storyline was so interesting to me because we can talk about it when here. Here. Number eleven. Forget the material. I, Okay. Is the one that got me. Here's Jimmy's, and they actually, so he's for many uh, years estranged we, from his brother. Real quick, he his, his hair looks so much better in that frame. No, this? not no, 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 no. <laughs> if you go back, like where it's kind of longer, and it, he's got the keep on top, but it, it looks so much better. This? No, no, no. When he was in the dentist office. Oh, like normal. Like normal. It looks, yeah. It looks way better. Well, so here's his brother that looks just like him, but he just, you know, he just bicked the dome, <laughs> and it looks good. But right, yeah, Jimmy would probably be yeah. benefited from that. <laughs> but anyway, Jimmy told us he's been estranged from his brother for so long, but this this uh, documentarian got a hold of his brother to interview for the show. It's pretty interesting, the documentary. I'm a writer, and I work with a music producer, and couldn't get famous doing something I'm talented at and something I'm goofy at, I get noticed for when you figure out entertainment, let me know. The opposite happened for me. <laughs> I'm just being honest, because I've been doing music since I was a kid. You know, he was playing the piano, he was playing the guitar. I remember that in our bedroom. We shared a bedroom for many years. We both grew up in the same house, and I ended up being a nice guy, and he ended up being a conniver and a bad guy. I'm a, a good guy. Jeez. And I thought it was so beautiful the way Alex put it together. The whole sh movie, you have these cuts to his brother saying like lovely things about him. And like we knew that Jimmy was estranged from him, but you didn't when you watch it. So this moment I thought was really, mm. it hit me so hard. Olivia oh. goes, I miss my sister. I said I'm going to text Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy was a cute kid. He was. He the is. He me. And my wife always says, how did two guys grow up the same and be so different? I don't know. You know, I know Jim said to you that we, you know, we kind of went our own ways and we're very different. Of course, we're, we're very different. And some may ask, well, how can you be so different if you grew up in the same family? Well, it, it happens. You know what savoir faire is? Rickles or Sinatra can walk into a room. They say the right things. They know what to do. You don't have to say anything to them. My brother just doesn't have that. He wasn't. <laughs> That's an interesting criticism. This gym. My brother, he doesn't have that je, uh, je ne sais quoi yeah. of Frank Sinatra and such. He's a dork. He, 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 I want him in around. other words. <laughs> person. He never was, and he never will be. And he puts on a nice act, like, and he acts nice. Jeez, but he the really stuff he's him. done is so bad. I couldn't imagine in my worst dream doing things like that. And once my dad died, that was pretty much it. That's it. Jim and my father, at the time of his death, you know, I don't know, they didn't have the closest relationship. And I'm not sure that they were able to talk about these, these matters. My father, unfortunately, didn't get a, a lot of time with Jim and his family before he, he died. That was kind of the last when dad died and the way Larry handled things. Larry is, is greedy. And he's not a good guy. So it's okay, because you see, I'm not upset with him, but I won't bother with him. I don't get upset. I just don't bother with you because I'm older and I don't have that much time to live and I got to get famous. So the least thing you need to do is bother with you because you're not a nice guy. You know, I personally hope for the day that we could be closer. We hope for the day that we get to meet his kids. I mean, I've never met his children. That's sad. You know, that's, that's the, you know, the, the situation. I make people feel good, whether I do comedy, whether I'm nice to people in the office. And that's the problem with Larry. He doesn't make you feel good. You, you, he makes you feel bad. And you know he's conniving something and he's gonna screw you over and not be a good guy. And I'm done. Jim and I, we have had significant loss 
my parents didn't treat Jim good. He's got to forgive him. People change, so I, I don't know what happens, and they grow apart. He asked me to, you know, not talk about details of this and that, and I said, Jim, I respect that. Like, even my wife said, Larry, why do you even want to do this? Well, selfishly, I think I want to do it, and I've done it, is because I have a feeling that it's another possibility of reconnecting us. I just feel that what a way to end this film with some type of like reconciliation or reconnection with a sibling. We're brothers and I want to be closer to my brother and I'm hoping through this, this film that maybe there's a chance that can happen because we are running out of time, Jim. So um, let's figure this out. Family. 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 Point to the hairline, Anna. The hairline's strong. I have been very driven, and I'm an older guy. Not old, old, but older, middle age, and I got to keep going. <laughs> no, Jim, you are. <sighs> Jim, I guess they're calling him Jim. I have a run out of steam. He got me at the same time. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get them talking. I, I did. did has Jimmy ever said what his brother did? No, that was so I mean, horrible. Because I'm pretty bad. They talked yeah. about like yeah. earlier in the doc. They revealed that um, Jimmy's mom had a bipolar and she killed herself. Yeah. And uh, I'm like crying so much. <laughs> Ugh. <clears throat> I love Jimmy. Yeah, I, I like Jimmy T a lot, and I, I, I th he probably has valid reasons. Is my I'm I on. mean I know it's none of my business, but I'm curious. Jeez Louise, but um, I guess there's some things that you you know you can't forgive people for. There are some, but uh, I don't know. There was a part earlier I remember seeing where his brother was talking about how Jimmy was the youngest and that he got the worst from his parents. It, so, I don't, it sounds like a wild, uh, a really horrible upbringing where like his parents like the older brother but hate the younger brother. Like, Jesus. Apparently he had like, he was like hyperactive. Maybe that was part of the problem. Like, he couldn't sit still. He's histrionic. Um, let's see. Anyway, now that we've now that we've got the tearjerker part, here's a racist compilation. Oh my god! <laughs> you look no, like I get that in right. Jewish, Yiddish, you're a shiksa. What are you? Uh, I'm Thai. Thai. It's okay, the thing. thing he was doing in this documentary that consistently blew my mind, he goes up to every Asian girl he passes by, and he says, Hey, China doll. Oh my god. It's so fucking crazy. <laughs> Southeast Asian uh, person. Yikes. Know. Yeah, it's really bad. My, my wife's Chinese, so I think you got good taste. <laughs> so you know my funny shirt when I see an Asian <laughs> guy? Gotta, oh, you know my go. funny we shirt? Gotta, we, got, we got dinner. May I? Okay. I am the comedian. Okay. You know my funny shirt when I see an Asian guy come? I asked him if he has any duck sauce. Are you Indian, honey? Yes. What's your name? I'm going to guess Patel. <laughs> I'm only teasing you. Does the red dot... The red dot. ...signify your Indian faith? And she said, no, no, I've been shot. Call 911. <laughs> oh, he crushed it with that one, though. Her husband was vibing on that one. <laughs> it was old timey humor. That the was husband, a dub. The husband's all about that old timey. That was a fat dub. Yeah. Let me see your papers. <laughs> what are you? I'm Mexican. Oh, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> Likes to approach everybody. It doesn't matter who it is. He sometimes goes for the jugular because that's his comedy. He has a, a whole lot of. Uh, A whole lot of, uh, you know, um, Asian jokes. <laughs> got the How do I put this? Uh, <laughs> he has a lot of, uh, this man, he's really doing the Tim Watley that he's like married to a Chinese woman. And so he's got the blank check for any right. yeah. Asian jokes you can imagine. Yeah. 
China doll. Hey, don't worry. I'm married to a Chinese broad. Hey, I'm hungry. Now. Hey, she, hey, I'm hung. When every time I see her, I get hungry. Yeah. Hey. She, sometimes she's on her knees, but not. What's that one he says about the knees all the time? Uh. But next Thursday she'll be on her knees. That's what he says. It, it, it just it rhymes with Chinese. Uh, yeah, I don't Chinese, remember. She's I was about on her to knees. say it rhymes. Hey. Yeah. I just had Chinese. a hooker, you know, so I dropped my pants, she dropped the price. Hey! <laughs> Work with me. Work with Bingo. me. Bingo! But again, that joke is backwards. She should raise the price when she sees. Because she doesn't want to have sex with him. If she's right. lowering the price, it means she wants to have sex with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Although yeah. I, I know what he's saying is that maybe his no, I think is this small. Is, I think you pointed this out to him. Yeah, <laughs> did, was he receptive? Well, I, about as well, he didn't receptive fix, as he usually. He is, didn't yeah. fix it. So. It's like an easier task. So, like exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Fever. The yellow fever. Go Asian. Go Asian, dude. What the? Go so he went to Chinatown. <laughs> I mean, this man is. He he really truly is a yin yang of a man, isn't he? Like nobody encapsulates the human spirit. It's quite like Jimmy Lee. Uh, he is. He's great. You, you, you struck gold with him. All these years, too, you know? All these years, we're still close. Yeah. I do think that, like, and I think a lot of you agree, there is a genuine affection that's grown between us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You disagree, Dan? Even you have to agree to some extent. <laughs> He is an. No, I, I don't disagree with what you just said. What? What are you? Then what? Was it the Chinese? I don't joke? know. I did. I don't. Yeah, just all of it. I don't know. You know, I'm not as hot on uh, Jimmy. As, I know that. As we know. That. I, I kind of had a heated moment about Jim this morning. So why? What happened? Just there's a lot of back and forth with scheduling things for him, and it's just. It are you still working out the Bobby Lee thing? Well, it didn't it, work out. It, it didn't. I confirmed with him six times that he didn't want to do it. Oh, he's and then, not doing it. And yeah. then he comes back to me yesterday. He's like, "Hey, I'm coming to LA. Can I get on Bobby?" <laughs> and he, the dates he gave me were the the dates I told him. I, when Zach, they, drop it. It's not your fucking responsibility. Well, that's what I keep. He had his chance, and he fucked that, it up. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I keep um, like telling him. But it's something's not getting. It's through. Jover, dude. Zach, you it's got it. Jover. With Jimmy, you have to stop responding. Yeah, it's what it's what I'm doing. Good. And he doesn't get it. Like it's all the back and forth. It's like I, I'm with peace and love to Jimmy. It's already a favor that Bobby was willing to have him. Good. I on. reached out to Bobby and asked yeah. him for a personal fucking favor. Exactly. And for like one of and the biggest pod comedy podcast in the world. And I, yeah, and I'm friendly way. with his producer, and so like it's embarrassing to just like have to like go back and forth. It's just like. I just told him no it. moss. Just I forget told, it. No, he's he's lost the, the chance. Yeah. yeah, I told him no moss. He, I mean, the ship has sailed. It's just so crazy. He does so much. He'll do anything to get any kind of attention, any kind of media. Bobby Lee invites him on a show. I was ready to throw my fucking Can't phone make this it. morning. I was so pissed, dude. <laughs> well, it sucks because I actually really wanted to watch that. I did, There's something that there's a disconnect that he just is not getting. And I tried is to it, tell him. Is it possible he's scared of Bobby? I uh, just don't mm -hmm. think he wants to spend the cheddar to come out here. But then he, like, comes back. But he the, spends, like, $20,000 every right. weekend with, like... Well, yeah. I think... Here's what happened. I think this was... We told him this before the documentary came out. So now I think he's got this Mr. fucking Hollywood thing where he's like, Oh, I need to go out to L.A. It's got 4,000 views, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> to promote the documentary. So now he's like, I'm coming, I'm spending, I'm Mr. Bing Bang Boom. Mm -hmm. You know? I see. So I think he get he's getting his, you know, he's getting the gears winding. If, if there's an easy way to just say, hey, he's in town, does this work? And then that's it? I'd be okay with that. But I'm also okay with you not, if you guys well, being totally the, over it. The dates he gave me is when they're not filming. So then, you know, what the fuck? Man? Yeah. God, I, I'm selfishly just really want to watch that. Which I told him six fucking times. Maybe we can come around. It, it the scheduling was difficult because of the holidays. Wait, that was part of the issue. Wait, so I have an idea. Maybe we can do it next. Hold on, year. I have an idea. Hmm. Maybe we can get them both in this studio because I feel like right. that would be easier to coordinate. Well, Jim's coming out early December. Because they, they, they won't. That's not gonna work. 
Why? Just because I know their schedule. And- oh, he's out of town? Yeah. Hmm. That would be fun. 2024, we'll we'll get the the Jimmy Bobby. 2024 collab, is the is I, the year. I think it's Jover for now. Damn. It is really fun though. It's a it's a nice watch. It's interesting. But this this part pretty is pretty lady. Rough. Hello, love. What is your name? Um, Chinese. Chinese. It's pretty lady. Chinese or Korean, love. Chinese. Oh, very pretty. Hong Kong Chinese or. Hong Kong Chinese. A pretty lady, you're Chinese, correct? Oh, yes, correct. Well done. Yeah. Well, Hong hey, Kong Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. Are you guys Hong Kong Chinese or? We're not Chinese. <laughs> Japanese. Japanese. But your husband's American because you're beautiful ladies and you look like you're mixed. Pretty. Oh, my crazy. God. They're not even jokes. They're just super weird comments. I'm Fuck. sorry, but I can't uh, stop thinking about him saying my brother's so mean he makes people feel bad. <laughs> and then, like, this needs to be overlaid after that. <laughs> Like, it, listen, it's part of the beauty of Jimmy Lee's uh, complex psyche. It's He's like, I'm not like that. He thinks taking people out to dinner and paying for it is him being a good guy. He and, thinks him paying them a salary. Yeah. He's like, I don't pay him shit. I just buy him some salami. <laughs> Gabagool. I, I, I buy him a plate of cold cuts at the end of the day. Kabish, take him out to Pink's. Treat him real nice. You like a corn dog? Treat yourself. Introduce him to Mr. Pink. Or, right? I mean, uh, you like a... Uh, what do you call it? The sloppy, sloppy joke. Why can't I remember? Chili dog? Yeah. You want a chili dog? Treat yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on the house. I got it. I got, I'll cover the chili. <laughs> Pink's loves Jimmy Lee. <laughs> Pretty Chinese girl Hi. and rich, oh, Japanese. and rich Japanese man. How you doing, China doll? How you doing? He's All right, so you married? fucked up. Married? You married? No. Oh. <laughs> How about Max? He seems to genuinely have, uh, Problem? Fetish for oh. for uh, Asian women. I don't. It seems that like he'll talk to anyone, but every time he sees an Asian woman, it's like, "Hey, beautiful woman, you from Hong Kong? Are you mixed?" It's it's his tagline. Bring him Asian. Uh, always Asian, never Caucasian. That's what he always says. Hey, I'm a rich white guy. Let's get. Let's oh, go yeah, right yeah. now. Okay, I yeah. want two. I want two Japanese women. <laughs> Just in case of one of Let these Let him go, man. He's... I have to have two. Okay? Which one's going to be my main one and which one's my side one? You want to be the main one? dude. By the way, I spoke with his wife on the phone. Uh, <laughs> you did? A few months when? back. Like, we did, like, a group call. He's like, I got to add her to the phone call. I got to add her to the call. And she was very nice. She's got to be because his kids are, like, normal as shit. His She's... boys are normal. And when he's, like, out of this mode, he is relatively normal. That's what the kid, his kid said. He's like just a nice guy, but when he gets in this fucking doctor, we like a nice guy, not a funny guy. <laughs> right. His wife was very nice. She was very appreciative of everything. Um, Man, how did he settle down with anyone? <laughs> I mean, he. Wow. Main one, or you be the main one? Which is my main wife? Which is my second wife? I'm always uh, uh, main, main, main wife, main, main wife, <laughs> your second wife. Yeah, okay. All right, I got a lot of money too. Uh, you can buy Chanel okay. handbag. You want Chanel handbag? Chanel handbag. What? Dude, this is not a joke. He's trying to pick them up. Yeah, and he's holding them again. So this is the this is the dichotomy of Jimmy. We were crying about his tragic backstory. We were sobbing. And now, he. I'm thinking he should be in prison. <laughs> I him. think. Both can be true. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. Both can be true. He makes it so hard to like him. (laughs) My job is now to just get big and viral and be on the street all the time and pound social media so I'm bigger so people come to me because when they come to me, they're interested. Through my whole career of dentistry, I always wanted to do it, but now I'm just doing it because I'm older and I have less time. When you're young, you have a lot of time and no money. When you're older like me, you have a lot of money, you have limited time. So now I gotta go. We gotta find some people. It's pretty fun. I was confused by this mozzarella guy though. Where, I, I, was I looked away for a second and then I was like, what am I watching? Oh my God, he reminds me so much of my mom's family. It's crazy. It was, the guy's fucking interesting, but I didn't know what the fuck I was I watching. I like the fact he's living his Hold dream. On, let me see this. You get, you get it to a point Who the in fuck life is where this? you just wanna. You... This, this turns into like a whole 30 minute segment about this guy making mozzarella cheese. The mozzarella boss. He is funny. You have your goals and you want to accomplish your dreams. He's he's the Jersey outlaw. I'm the mozzarella boss. <laughs> hey everyone, my name's Rob Nestori. I'm the mozzarella boss the mozzarella. out of South Jersey. 
I've been a friend of Jimmy Lee, the Jersey He's Outlaw, going back to 1985, where we met at Harris Casino when I was washing his uncle's boat. Okay. <laughs> Two 10-foot trucks. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Oh, you want anyway, to eight, five, Jimmy would have been um, like 12. Three. Three. Yeah, yeah, right. Here, uh, he makes mozzarella. He's, it's quite interesting. He's we the mozzarella We don't necessarily bar. need to... We don't need to dump it right on top. <laughs> It's, I swear to God, 30 minutes of this. And we'll put this back on. And then this is how it started. So I would just start making this instead of driving this part two is kind hours. Of amazing. Right? I would just start making this over here. We get some bread, some tomatoes. Some tomatoes? And we, you know, enjoy it. Wow. That's the real deal. And when you taste tomatoes. it, you're going to be like, wow. <laughs> And everybody loves, they seem to love when I go like this, look. <laughs> look at that. Look at love that. It. Look, you can't even see me. Uh, use the force, right? Isn't that how you would do it, Jim? Look, use the, this is how they do it. How did he do it? With Yoda? Yoda. All right, so Yoda. we're going to make, never let's heard see Yoda. if we can make this. <laughs> look, this is like, you got, when you practice, you want to practice like Luke Skywalker. You go like this. What did he say? Ben. Right? Leia! Yeah. yeah, that's what he said when he lifted the uh, Yoda. Yoda said, Use the Force, or it's Sorry. little Yoda. Right? Yeah. And he goes, I guess, well, when he lifted the X Wing, he said, Ben, Ben. See, I'm more like, I started out like Yoda, but now I'm more like, what's his name? Palpatine. Look. Right? Prequel. Look. Isn't that how he would do it? Palpatine? It. We're looking. Right? And you're just, you need some force lightning. Can you add that to the film? <laughs> oh, the you know. Look, I want, to, I want some force line. lightning. This guy is, about Star Wars. Right? Th this guy you know, is like a bona fide character. Like, I could not look away. I think this guy just heard this was going on, on the internet. He's like, oh, those nerds like fucking Star Wars. I'm just going to keep bringing up Star Wars <laughs> in every sentence. He does, yeah, talk about Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, I need like the Star Wars theme music, you know, like Palpatine when all the ships are mm -hmm. rising. Right? Can we do that? Oh, you gotta make me that. You you want to make that one? That's like my favorite scene, right? And then he's like, ah, right? <laughs> Nailed it. Sith. Yeah. We welcome the Sif over here. <laughs> he's been holding the Look fucking mozzarella up for oh. so long. And then you could do like one like this. Who's Switching this? arms. We should have this Isn't guy like on the show. Thing? I love him. You know, like yeah, where they the guy the gets boss. thrown out. You off. know, he's walking like this. Can we get this guy on Bobby? <laughs> yeah, Lee's I was about to say, Cam. Look, the moth boss. Like Bobby. Bobby. We should fuck with Dancing, Jimmy right? and just make the mozzarella boss super famous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want to make mozzarella at our live show, dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck it. Live demo? <laughs> live demonstration. Jimmy would fucking. He'd kill us. He'd kill us. <laughs> right? He's still holding it up, man. Are we done stretching? So, <laughs> stretching. anyway. So, yeah, it's a pretty interesting guy. But there it is. The Jimmy Lee documentary. Tears. Cringe. Oh, anger. Man. That frame of Wonder. His hair. That frame of his hair that you just closed, it was, like, perfect. Oh, how do you mean? It so looks better than be his, uh, and his, uh, fucking, uh, Chairman Mao. His, yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you. So there's one thing left, but how, we've been going for clean. Yeah, we're at uh, three twelve. We started on time today. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do the eel pit segment. We've been putting this together, and it's really interesting. But which the, segment? The eel pit. The eel pit one. The. Oh right, 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 right. Well, it's a uh, it's evergreen. We can mm -hmm. get to it some other time. Today's what Monday? We can do it on do Wednesday. it on Wednesday. Yeah, it's a good Wednesday segment. Fine. So we'll do Eel Pit on Wednesday. The other one I want to watch was the Bored Apes, people being blinded, but I guess that one's that kind of Wednesday worthy. We can talk as about well. Wednesday too, yeah. You say you want to do it now? I said we could talk about it on Wednesday, but it's pretty quick. All you right. Just knock it out. So Bored Ape Party, you know, Bored Ape Club. As you many of you will remember, it was like a, a really popular, successful, extraordinarily expensive NFT. Horrible art, dumb art of monkeys wearing this. Yeah, thank you. These, this shit was selling for six digits at least. This one is very relevant now. True. 
Like, I don't know what they're worth now. I think they're still somewhat valuable. I think though. they're the only one of these that still is somewhat valuable. Let's see. Uh, People just can't. I don't think they're ready to accept that they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on a worthless, terrible art. Like, the, even the background color is gross. Like, what is that green, man? It's so depressing. So this one sold for 29 ETH? Uh, the floor pro price is $56,000. So they're still very valuable. Yeah. yeah. Well, they were hundreds. Like 300000 or something. Yeah, and some were... So anyway, they, these guys, Yuga Labs, we actually talked about them, how they're like, might be secret Nazis or something. And then, remember, the manager reached out, and the, everyone was, like, trying to get me to have them in the office and shit. Mm -hmm. Well, they're blinding all their people. Here's the party. They had a party just for Bored Ape owners. Here's the attendees. Ape Fest. Ape Fest? Yep. Not a single woman in sight, someone said. And <laughs> that is a kind of a good observation, honestly. There is really... I, I, I literally cannot see a single woman. This music is definitely copyright. Yeah. Um. Pause it. Let's see. Well, here. Let me get a better, uh, a, a brighter frame. There. There you go. There is not. Um, oh, maybe here. Maybe is this that one? Maybe. I think that might be a woman. This might be a woman. Maybe. Way back. Oh, here. back here. Yeah. Maybe. Her. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's. I think that could be. I, I guess I'd have to see it in motion. This is truly. A room of the biggest suckers in the world. Like, let's get some timeshare salesmen in there. They'll fucking clean up that place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. I mean, golly. But anyway, so they all came together. Had a really fun, special time. <laughs> Yo. You'll notice it's really purple in this room. Like, really purple. It's good vibes. <laughs> By the way, um, it's interesting. They're all, like, kind of the same type of person. I don't know how to describe that. They're like young tech bros. I don't know. Yeah. But how do they, how do these guys have so much money to buy this shit? That's something I don't understand. There's a lot of like millionaires that's like around 25 right now just because crypto? of crypto. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And they're yeah. all like nerd nerds who got money and then they use the money to like prop themselves up and shit. Super crunch. So here is the stage uh, that was at the show. And you'll notice there's, of intense UV lights blasting out uh, <laughs> at the audience. So everyone's just looking up there. Looks fine. Looks nice. Board, board Ape Yacht Club. Well, yeah, shot them down into the crowd. There you something go. Something actually went wrong here. <laughs> it turns out <clears throat> that whatever UV lights they were using <laughs> are actually super dangerous and super damaging to the eye people started to report in mass that they were going blind and i'm not kidding look at this yes me too 3 am i woke up my eyes were burning i could barely open them getting a few pings on eye issues from ape friends that were up close with us front stage quick thread on photokeratitis remedies and what to look out for they all have crypt the board ape in the profile. I woke up at four and couldn't see anymore. Okay. I had so much pain and my whole skin is burned. I needed to go. I needed to go to the hospital. The doctor told me the UV of the lighting was this in the stage is what did it. It has the same effect as sunlight. Still cannot see normally. Anyone else eyes burning from last night? I woke up at three a.m. with extreme pain. I ended up in the ER. I saw a couple <laughs> reports, but just trying to figure out if there was a common thread. So, <laughs> they like. I mean, it's fucked up, but like, holy in shit, mass, what? in mass, just blinding. <laughs> it's crazy. Here, look at this. Here's a attendee who's both. Uh, well, he's very. I, I think he's approaching this in a really mature manner. <laughs> I'll read it. Posting that in hope of, that my friends suffering the same issue realize need, they need medical attention ASAP. Thank you for a great Ape Fest logistic, guys. Incredible event and met plenty of amazing people. Still, as dozens of others, I almost lost sight this night. I'm being taken care of by doctors now and have only good intentions writing this post. 
to my friends who suffer now, go get your eyes checked. You've likely most literally got your eyes burned with UV like I did, which requires medication, eye drops, eye protection, antibiotics, and specialized care. Okay. Don't... <laughs> Don't ignore this health hazard. Without proper treatment, it may cause long-lasting vision impairment and other serious damage. To the organizers, for the communication awareness reasons, it would be fair to put together an official statement with recommendations on what to do. As dozens of people you care about were exposed to serious health hazards and lots of suffering. You're good, guys, so I know that it'll be easy for you guys to recognize the seriousness of this. Much love. So this dude went to a event, was blasted in the fucking face with dangerous uv light all night he's blinded he can't see <laughs> because of their insanely gross negligence and he's still out here like thanks for the great event guys you guys really <laughs> listen other than for everyone being blinded and permanently eye damaged it was really a great event like holy shit dude brainwashed there's got to be mega lawsuits from this hopefully um Here's another person posting their hospital bill. Let's see. Oh, this is the same guy. So far, 30 hours since I woke up with severe eye burn. I visited the emergency hospital and eye clinic and spent a total of six hours. I got diagnosed with photokeratitis and prescribed prescription eye drops. My vision was tested as close to perfect with no serious damage. So many of my okay, that's good. Yeah. So many of my friends are still unaware that they may seek medical help to make sure they end with no damage as well. Please go get your eyes checked immediately. We've most likely been exposed to experience similar to Mount Everest climbers called snow blindness. Snow blindness is caused by unprotected exposure of the cornea and conjunctiva to ultraviolet light, specifically UVB. Snow blindness is therefore sunburn of the eye and can be extremely painful. Well, he only spent $400 on medical? That seems cheap. Yeah. He's in, I mean, he's in... Hong Kong? Yeah, Hong Kong. So wait, Hong Kong sells their own money? Mm-hmm. I thought they combined. Not yet. Well, not fully. It's complicated. Okay, so... But yeah. 380 that's kind of a good deal, actually. Some friends called in ambulances for themselves... Still all together, not that expensive. Yo, call, imagine calling an ambulance for yourself because you got f So anyway... This ad for the event is poorly worded in retrospect. Let's see. Keep your eyes peeled at Ape Fest <laughs> Hong Kong as BMW <laughs> unveils the future with their unique interactive experience. Keep your eyes peeled. Literally, your eyes will be peeling. Mama, they're already peeled. <laughs> Have your eyes ever peeled before? Well, they will today. <laughs> I mean, shit. That's pretty wild. Let's see. Um, oh, they put out a, an official statement. Okay, let's see what they said. Apes. We are aware of the eye-related issues that affected some attendees of <laughs> Ape Fest and have been proactively reaching out to individuals since yesterday. Based on our estimate, we believe that much less than 1% of those attending and working the event had these symptoms. Don't worry, everybody. We only permanently damaged the eyesight of 1%. <laughs> Much less than 1%. I'm sure that's not true. That can't be. Everyone in that room was being blasted. While nearly everyone has indicated their symptoms have improved, we encourage anybody who feels uh, them to seek out medical attention. This is the final tweet in this thread. We do not want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> no, I think it's because uh, everybody oh, is see. constantly trying to scam each other in the crypto space. That <laughs> yeah. They have to be like... I see. If you said, see any replies, it's not real. What a great community. <laughs> Crypto eye. They really are the best. Uh, some great replies. Let's have a look. I love these. Uh, fix this for you. That's funny. That is good. 
from the PR team. Guys, completely downplay it. Make it sound like a small number, less than 1%. Make it look like they're actively helping and solving. Try to find the potential root cause, even though we know exactly what it was. <laughs> okay. Okay, first two look weirdly similar. What about now? Oh, let's see, yeah, this is the Nazi stuff. <laughs> I've been a loyal community member for over two years. My ape is not only the most expensive thing I own, it's the one, the only things I own. Yikes, that's, that's so sad. embarrassing. I don't have a car. I don't have clothing. I think this one's a troll. I don't know for sure, but... It's funny. Either. I had my parents give me a loan so I could attend Ape Fest, and now I am drowning in <laughs> eye related medical bills. I don't know how to pay. <laughs> yeah. Lol, this tweet doesn't even include a single apology. That's kind of true. They probably don't want to admit fault. They're going to get sued. Morons. Scumbags. Losers. Freaks. <laughs> All right. That was it, I guess. That's it. Well. My beautiful family, thank you to all the members who support us graciously every month. It means so much, especially because of Ben Shapiro and his friends are obsessed with cancel culture. Yep. They have ruthlessly targeted us. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. It was a nice show. I got a lot of chocolate to eat. So. And uh, we'll be back on Wednesday. See members tomorrow for my live stream. I'm thinking it's possible that there might be a leftovers on Thursday. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. I'm not sure yet if I want to go there or not. There's a lot of things that I felt like I still want to talk about and say, which is what's making me feel like I want to do it. But on the other hand, I'm thinking about dealing with all the f shit. Cancel culture. Yeah, yeah. Cancel culture, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Brett Cooper. So I'm thinking about it. We'll see. Anyway, see you guys on Wednesday. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching.